Hey everybody, Asbo here, and today is a new one for today. Um, it's the casting of Frank Stone, which got released last week by Supermassive Gaming, which Supermassive Games, which I do enjoy a lot of their games. Um, I have played a lot of the games over the past year. Um, what we're covering um, was it Until Dawn uh, late last year, and The Devil and Me. And with that, as well as the Dark Pictures and rest of the Dark Pictures anthology, which I streamed with Snake last week. But I've been really hyped up for this one for a little while, and <clears throat> this is well, it says on the tin, it's from the world of Dead by Daylight. Now, me and Snake, we've wanted to play that, but we never got round to it because. We're only a duo here. We're we're not a crew, which is a shame. Because I would like to play games with more people as well as Snake. But this one's a single player. Although it says die together, it's on the couch. But anyways, let's get into it. Yeah, start up a new game. Uh, choose your path. Mm. And go survivor. Yes, new day. Here we go. We're going to play this in its entirety tonight. Now, every choice made, every action taken, some will take life, some will result in death. Which is the same as all of these guys. I've sacrificed everything searching for it. A world within a story whispered to me centuries ago. Of a timeless power, infinite in knowledge. Voracious in hunger. The entity. A realm so close to ours, but always out of reach. Until I found him. Frank Stone. My key. My killer. I am Augustine Lieber. And I'm about to change our worlds forever. It's got a 70s horror feel to it. Love it already. Baby, that sounded like a baby. Go on, doggy, protect baby.
hunt for missing infant continues. <gasps> Mr. Missing Infant. I was crying. <clears throat> Chapter 1 The Burning Moor. Cedar Mill, 1963. Oregon Police. Okay. I'm Sam. I'm assuming you're the night watchman here. I am. Or just you? Covering the entire site? Oh, no. I got help. Where are they now? On duty? Mother Manor. Merlin just goes where he pleases. Merlin? My dog. Doberman Pincher. Best friend a fellow could ask for. Loyal to the seventh horn sounds. Trust him more than I trust myself. <laughs> um... Dog our security for mill. I need to ask you a few questions. Well, There's a massive mill. So, you and the dog. Merlin. Merlin. You two are security for the whole mill? I know, I know. Overkill. But between the two of us, we get the job done. Though. I don't know where he's got himself to tonight. Maybe I scared him off. Scared him off? <laughs> that, that is a good one. Thomas Jefferson Holtz is the name. Call me Tom. Officer Sam Green. You ain't one of Kusich's deputies, are you? My captain has loaned me to Sheriff Kusich as additional manpower for the duration of this investigation. Oh, you mean the business with the missing boy? That's right. I'm drinking. If he's drinking, he's drinking, fuck it. Notice anything this. suspicious around the mill? Tonight? Tonight, last few nights, anything at all? Oh, nothing. 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 Oh, heck, don't take my word for it. Ask the sheriff. Sheriff Kusich has been here. He saw by last night asking about the exact same thing. And I told him the same thing I'm telling you. There's no way that boy could be here and Merlin and me not know about it. And what did the sheriff say? Okay, Tom. And he got back in his car and left. Huh. Nobody actually checked the mill. No, nobody checked the mill. So what you're telling me is nobody's actually checked the mail for any sign of the boy. When you say nobody, does that include Merlin? No, Tom, it does not. I'm talking human investigators only. In that case, Sam, I find it hard to argue with your assessment. <sighs> any objections if I take a look around the place? No objections from me. Of course, everything's locked for the night. It's not a problem. There's Merlin, of course. Of course. If you see him, tell him I'm looking for him. Your thing, dude. Thank you for your help, Tom. Happy to oblige. Peter likes Vera Mint. I didn't fancy grilling in for drinking and shit. I'm on, I'm looking for an infant. This is definitely here, because I heard it. Him. Sorry. Him. Hurt the little boy. 
course, everything's locked up for the night. Find a way into the mill. Let's go. Diesel trains. That's to run. An open window. I can get in through there. Oh, up there. I see it. Huh. 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 Easy does it. Now. Let's squeeze through here. It's just gone nine o'clock. Oh, let's have a look at this. Right, hard to inspect it. Um, Friday thirteenth afternoon. Howard Norris, Jim, Frank Stone. Frank Stone's right. Uh, so, move Dawkins and Stone off graveyard to pick up slack. No use running three crews with half the manpower. Some fella's gonna have to double up shifts. Tell the Lumpkin out front, no one working nights for a while. Pucks. Doors sealed shut. Examine. Huh? Well, 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 what have we got here? Personal February 4th, surname preferred. Hmm. Composition machinist. Address singer, Peter Dills. Criminal record, one charge assault robbery. Huh. They've so got a criminal work in here. What the fuck? There goes the light. I made me jump. Oh. Yeah, this building here. Alright, uh, we're in. Who's there? I ain't the only one here. Smells like death. Hmm. All right, this way. Hmm. 
Oh, fuck. Hey, uh, Tom. Mr. Green. Officer. Oh, yes, sir, of course. Uh, we haven't seen Merlin, have you? No. Yeah. Sorry. Ugh. You all right there? Ugh. Yeah, it's just... Jesus, you don't smell that? <sighs> Sniffer's out of commission. <laughs> Got a little too up close and personal with a can of mustard gas back in the trenches. <laughs> ah. Ouch. It can be a blessing in disguise. Ugh. Gotta find out where it's coming from. What's it smell like? Nothing good. <laughs> right. Well, I still haven't found his dog. Oh, I think we found his dog. Merlin! There you are, boy. What the we hell? We where you got to. <gasps> Come here, boy! Dig name it! <sighs> sure would have liked it if you two made proper acquaintance. <sighs> so that I'm worried it. about. <clears throat> Ugh. What does that look like? A... You put this out for him? No. It looks like someone else has found his way to your boy's heart. Through his stomach. It ain't possible. Merlin and me, we're a team. Who'd want to come between a man and his best friend? Whoever doesn't want to find out. Some kind of wiener mate? Yeah, here. Hey, human flesh. Will you look at that? That damn dog. Think that belongs to the boy you're looking for? Um. Yeah. Nah. Came from someone much older. A teenager, maybe. Jesus, married a milkmaid. Hey, you know about <laughs> any other folks going missing in Cedar Hills lately? Well, I don't know. Who would know a thing like that? Well, somebody does. Someone's feeding you damn dog. Human flesh. Oh, let's check this way. What was that sound? Stay behind me. like a bloody security officer. <clears throat> so, what is this thing? The grape? Yeah, what is it for? <laughs> it's, uh, for the furnace, I think. You don't know for sure? Yeah, I work at the mill, not in the mill. Hmm. Okay, um, let's look for something. Keep an eye out for flashing objects as well, actually. You never know what kind of information could be given. is that? Why don't I... Right, we've just found <clears throat> human remains eaten by his dog and we've not even bothered to call in for uh, backup.
Is this cop really looking to get himself killed? Nah, it's not flashing. be a fucking crowbar here or something. That's what I need. Ah, found the crowbar. Fine. Oh. Huh. Oh, so I've got to climb uh. over in order to get to it. Gotcha. Right. Where's that grate? Even more blood down there. Ah, oh, there it is. Right there. Stand back. First one of those, first few of them are usually quite easy in these games. Hmm. All right, take this. Use the radio in my car and call the station. Oh, of course, I don't have a <clears throat> radio. Where, where are you going? You, you really think that boy's down there? I don't know. But I got a feeling, and it's not a good feeling. Hey. I'm gonna need you to take this, too. Make take sure the, the sheriff gets this. Oh, oh, boy, I don't know. Um... I need your help here, Tom. I wouldn't ask if I didn't. I just don't know if I'm made of the stuff, buddy. They don't call it a higher calling for nothing. You gotta rise to meet it. You can do this. What you gotta do is use a fucking radio. I, I, yeah. I can do this. Hey, I'm counting on you, Tom Hope. Well, that's a fucking good start, isn't it? Well, at least me light's on. Why the hell would a mill have a full tunnel system underneath it? 
What's that on the floor? Anything of interest? Oh! Wooden horse! Oh, okay! Trinkets! Oh, so that's what the box is for, trinkets. Okay, so, I've got a trinket. Going deeper. Into a dead end. Right. Damn. It's a maze down here. A mine. Oh, okay, so that explains the tunnels. Looks like mine carts are used to move iron ore. Furnace access. The hell? All right, upstairs. This has got to be it. Lock it. So I put it back, even though it could be left evidence. Someone's rib cage. Leave it says it's down here. Uh, this place turns my stomach. Huh. What? Things just get the hillbilly twisted man turned monster. I'm guessing there's something to do with the actual game, Dead by Daylight. Goddamn small spaces. So it does look like someone's down here. Oh! Caught it! I guess I'm going up here then. Ah, oh, okay. So you gotta hold it down in order to. Oh, there he is. That's, um, 
the weirdo from the start. Ramp or ladder? Ramp. Keep your wits about ya. Why hasn't he got his gun out and trained? Oh! Come on, up you get, up you get, up you get. Where am I? Where am I? Oh, punched him. No, I missed it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. I managed to overpower him. Oh! Come on, go for the gun! Find a way off. Okay. Come on. That's it. Oof. You freed yourself from the pipe. Okay. What the hell? Who's that? Who? Who? <clears throat> Come on! I see it! You could do it! You can do it! Go, 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 go! That's it! Oh, shot. <sighs> you shot Frank Stone and saved the child. Oh, what <laughs> nasty. Sleep tight, motherfucker. <laughs> He was going to throw that child in there. What the hell was that? Is it okay though? Are you sure?
No, it's not okay. You're still dreaming. Okay, um... Let's have a look here. Pick up. Mom. Okay, nothing else worth seeing here. So that's, that's her and her mum. What the hell? Obviously this is a bad dream. Still. None of this is right. I'm not back in my room again. Why am I back in my room? What the Where's this fucking Squeeze through. And TV. Holy shit. These are TVs that we had when we were growing up. The old box ones that were impossible to destroy. Static. Great. Mom? What's wrong? Is it though? What the fuck? Do this, Maddie. Just stay on the right side of the road. I mean, the left. The left side is the right side. Left side. <clears throat> <clears throat> Stop. 
It looks like a female. <coughs> it's a female. You need a lift? Reynolds got a flat. Oh, you're hmm. American. <clears throat> yeah. So am I. Okay. Yeah, so do you mind giving me a lift? Right, sure, of course. You can drop me off at Garrett Manor. It's just a few miles up the road. Huh, weird. That's actually where I'm going, too. So it's not out oh. of your way. Uh, guess not. You chose to pick up the hitchhiker. I did, didn't I? I was very nice to hitchhiker. <clears throat> so we're both going to the same place, huh? What are the odds of that? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess it's not all that odd, seeing as, you know, we're already pretty close, and I don't think this road goes anywhere else. So, did you say you were going to Garrett Manor for business, or...? I did not. Oh. So, um... Where are you from? From? Like, where do you live? Paris. <laughs> That's where I'm from, currently. Before that, I was from Amsterdam, Dublin, Milan, Los Angeles, and Oregon. Once upon a time. That's cool. Hey, my mom's from Oregon. Well, one of them is. I always heard it was really nice. Or kind of a shithole, but like a really nice kind of shithole. I mean, I wouldn't know anyway because I've never been. I'm a big Apple girl, born and raised. Barely even made it north of 14th Street before going off to college. Here in England? Uh, no, Berlin, actually. Oh, I'm Maddie, by the way. Linda. It's nice to meet you, Maddie. Yeah, you too. Even if I was worried you might try to clonk me. Ah, uh, sorry. <laughs> mm. What do you do for a living? Yeah, make small talk. Okay, so what do you do for a living that takes you all over the place? I'm a filmmaker. I travel a lot for film shoots and festivals and all the other usual Hollywood bullshit. Oh, wow. I heard that's a real tough kind of job to get. Easy to get. Hard to keep. <laughs> had to bury a few bodies, huh? <laughs> well, I've had to work real hard to get where I am, but I'd be kidding myself if I didn't also acknowledge there isn't a certain amount of dumb luck to it. <laughs> Come on. You don't just dumb luck your way into a successful film career. You'd be surprised. I never would have guessed this is what I'd end up doing with my life. Mmm, sure. Definitely seems like the kind of thing you just end up doing. <laughs> They've got a good relationship with Linda now. Hey, take a look. Damn. <clears throat> So they're in my backyard. I think we've come to the end of the rainbow. Chapter two in the House of Darkness, Garant Manor. In current year. This place is definitely a little too, uh... On the nose? I was gonna say a little too much like a horror movie. Exactly. So, um, do we just knock, or...? I'm not sure. Oh, I... doorbell. Yeah, go for both. Fuck it. 
Maybe nobody's home. This is definitely when I was told to get here. Mm, me too. Hello? Anybody home? It's a good rule of thumb to try every door. No, oh, you think? Well, they're expecting us, aren't they? No way is it. Unlocked. Do we just go in? Why are you asking me? Because <laughs> you're a grown-up. So are you, Maddie. <sighs> then, uh, here we go. Apparently... <laughs> I like that. So are you, Maddie. Get your ass moving. Why are all the lights off? Beats me. Hello? Let's take a look around. Um, hello? We've arrived. That's like an old queen. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Don't go up there. I want to go around here. No! There we go. Examine. Okay, so I've only got one trinket here. You just gotta keep an eye out for more. There's a bust over here. Um, what about up this way? Right. You have a chest, anyone? No? Oh, oh, here we go. It's an interesting one. Huh. Well, even I could play this. A survivor theme by some. Is that. D minor C, D minor B. There's a D, C, D, B, anyways. Whichever. Either way. I'm not really good with piano music as such. More guitar music. This like is kind of freaking me out. It's weird, right? Arriving in an abandoned mansion with no one to greet you? Yeah. It's a little odd. Oh god, this is when some guy with a chainsaw rushes up from the basement, isn't it? <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> We've been invited here for a reason. And I don't think it's so our hosts can wear our faces as leather masks. <sighs> That's super comforting. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Really digging these creepy cottage core vibes. <laughs> Well, I found a room. Oh, yeah, I've got an old telephone as well. What's this? Bruno Stanford. Business connoisseur. Behind all good ideas is a plan. Behind all great ones is this. Looking forward to doing business with you. Huh. That's today. If you mean what you promise, I'm sure this evening will be worth both our whiles. See you on the 13th, and please call me Stan. P.S. Got a good number for one of those British black cabs. My usual guy in dispose. So, to speak. I think we might not be the only ones here. Business connoisseur? 
He's a snob about business. Yuck. <laughs> Linda doesn't like him already. Oh, let's check this one out. Miss Lieber. I am writing to confirm that, as per your instruction, I have asked the staff to take leave and vacate the grounds ahead of your visitors arriving. I recall hearing mention that your visitors are all collectors with a shared interest to yourself. If this is the case, would it not be preferable or even desirable to keep one trusted staff member on hand to handle any precious item if required? Hey, I think I figured out why there's no one here. What? Why? Oh. I think they must have forgot we oh. were coming and went on a trip or something. Maybe. I recommend myself for this duty, and do not consider it below my station, for I would relish the chance to glimpse and handle your precious items in the private re relic Reliquily. Reliquily. Reliquary. I'm English and I can't even fucking say that. <laughs> Should it be needed? I am only a short drive away. If called upon and you're, you needn't concern yourself with discretion. In my three years of service as a state manager of Garant Manor. I have proven to be a model of reserve property and reliability. I await your response with keen anticipation, your devoted servant, G.F. Grimes. A collector. Oh, I don't think I'm going to get anything else in. Do you play? Um, a little. Whoa. <sighs> Crazy, right? Uh, yeah. Um? You've seen a real secret passage before? It's fairly common for old mansions like these to have concealed corridors to allow the servants to come and go while being seen as little as possible. You got some of these in your house too, huh? Secrecy is a privilege of the rich, stolen from the rights of the oppressed. Okay. I can already tell that Linda's gonna be a badass. So... I think I may have found already found something I shouldn't have. Oh. Hmm. The Huntress. It must have had a the lullaby doll that on their Christmas list. The Dark Forest. So yeah, like I said, I'm assuming that these are all like dolls built based off the Pillars and characters that feature in the actual Dead by Daylight game. This seems a bit more lively. Where have I gone? Oh, I'm back here. Wow, I've been a very nosy boy. Linda! Where the hell did you just go around the whole... F Don't answer that question. I'm just going to put it down to dumb AI. Oh, Let's check out this room then, because she's very interested here. Oh, 
Ah, ladies. Hello, hello. Welcome. Hello. Didn't exactly get explicit directions as to what to do once I got here, so... <laughs> yeah, um, same. I am so sorry. Where are my manners? My name is Stan. And you would be? Maddie. Maddie. Beautiful name. Short for Madeline. Madison, actually. Ah. Middle name Lexington? What? Midtown. The Big Apple, the, the city that never sleeps. Home to the most beautiful of women and fiendishly desperate of men. Madison Avenue. Okay, got it. A fitting name for such a lovely lady. Um, apprehensive. Right, uh, Stan. That's in short for Stanford. Apprehensive, this place street town right. Casual been waiting here a while. Let's see what she says there. Stan. That wouldn't be short for Stanford, would it? <laughs> I see my reputation precedes me. Bruno Stanford the third. That's your beck and call. But only if you call me Stan. Oh, Stan, this is Lynn Da Castle. I am such a huge fan of your work. I, I am I, I'm at a loss for words. I am just humbled by your presence. Uh, oh, okay, uh, sure. Bruno Stanford III, at your back end call, only to call me Stan. Right. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Truly an honor. <laughs> Truly. Wow, I didn't realize you were, like, famous, famous. Famous construct, and I'm not. Oh, no, there I would beg to differ. Your modesty is only outweighed by your incredible body of work. Living and dying by the light of the moon? Transcendent. Blood on the brain? Mandatory. Forgotten flesh. I don't even know where to begin. All right, okay. Miss Castle, you are the quintessential countercultural cinematic icon of our times. I appreciate the kind words. I just didn't expect them here. Wow, so you're really the quintessential cult counter culture icon. Wait, didn't you two come here together? Oh, no, I mean, yeah, we drove in together, but only the last couple miles. I had some car trouble. I see, I'm sorry, I thought that you were Miss Castle's assistant. <laughs> nope. Just me. Wait, should I be flattered or insulted by that? Oh, well, I didn't mean. I'm just flattered you think I have an assistant. I'm sure if you did, she would not be nearly as charming as, as Miss Avenue. Your last name is Avenue? Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> what, did I miss something? Only that we are at a loss at what to do in the absence of our host. Wherever they may be. I guess we should keep looking around. I mean, why not at this point? <clears throat> Maybe our host has left something out for us. Mm. What do you uh, do, Stan? Oh, I won't bore you with all the details, but it involves money and fast cars and trading. Well, nothing to leave. Ah, uh, he's a trader. Oh, obviously. No, oh, shout out to Elsa. Martin, one. Thanks for the follow, dude. Really appreciate that. So, anyways, we're now having a good old nose. I'm gonna have a look at this book here. The Epic of Gilgamesh. A bit of light bedtime reading. Tablet 5. The Slaying of Humbaba. My friend Humbaba, guardian of the forest, grind up, kill, pulverize and destroy him before the preeminent preeminent god Enlil hears and the uh, gods are full of rage at us okay this is yeah Enlil is in Nippur 
Shamash is in Sipar. Erect and uh, yeah, you guys can fucking pause that shit. <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't even gonna try and decide for that. No. What else is in here? What else is interesting? Huh. Murder Moving mill. poster inside a cabinet. Interesting choice. Mur hey, either of you heard of murder mill? Holy shinobi. You're kidding, right? No. Not the only one around here who's familiar with it. Wait. This is one of yours? It's one of the first things I ever worked on. Super low budget. We had no idea what we were doing. It should never have seen the light of day. I still wish it hadn't. Why? Well, things tend to get blown out of proportion. I heard it was only screened a few times. And each time, the audience flew into a rabid, murderous rage. No, no, come on. Don't try and deny it. The film is legendary. I think people were just bored out of their minds. Look, I'm sure they made you sign all sorts of non-disclosure agreements, like... What? Who? The government. When they confiscated and destroyed every existing copy of the film. Oh, give me a break. I heard they kept at least one, just in case. And the CIA's got this secret lab called Leary's Memorial Institute where they use it for enhanced interrogation. How do you know all this? I'm a fan. <laughs> and a base to know this kind of stuff. Huh. I'm guessing that's to do with the mill we were at at the beginning. Uh, is that supposed to happen? I don't know, but I am digging the theatrics. <laughs> I see you three have wasted no time getting acquainted with each other. I'm so very sorry for the delay in my arrival. There are a great many things that require my attention at the moment, and I would hate to have to deprive you of my full attention while we are together. <clears throat> ah, yes, and speaking of needing attention... Uh, all dried up, are we? We can't have that. After all, you're far too capable of a negotiator when you're sober. And twice that when I'm not. <laughs> Madison. Would you also like a refreshment? Uh, it's just Maddie. Oh, my mistake, Maddie, it is. Oh, it's fine. Nonsense. Never be shy about what you call yourself. Your name is who you are. That's important to remember. And who are you? I call myself Augustine Lieber. Nice to meet you, Augustine Lieber. Now that we are properly introduced, I must again offer you a drink. Yeah, let's chill for a bit, yeah? Sure, yeah. I'll just have whatever Stan's having. Of course. And you? No thanks. I think you may like it. Never had a drink in my life. I don't plan on starting now. I know it's been quite a long journey for you all to come here today. I hope, despite that, you'll find it'll all be worth the effort. Guess that's up to you now, isn't it? I suppose it is. Well, I'll show you mine. Do show me yours. Aren't we a bit eager? <laughs> Manners, Mr. Stamford. Not all of us are caught up yet. Your drink. Thanks. You okay? Yeah, no, it's it's nothing. It's the glass. <laughs> Brass tacks, Augustine. I did not come all this way just for drinks. What's in there? Look, I don't know what you two have come to sell her, but I just happen to have one of the most sought after pieces of rare cinematic ephemera to ever hit the market. Huh. 
Well, that right there is the only surviving segment of film from the original camera shot celluloid of one Murder Mill. The earliest known work of a certain noted Artur, allegedly. Should be worth a small fortune. So I'm told. Hate to burst your bubble. Damn it. There goes its one-of-a-kind value. Not quite. Mm -hmm. I, I... I never knew what it was from. Oh. You told me I had to bring this to you in person if I wanted to make it. I will keep the promises I made to you. All of you. What if I don't want to sell? Well, that would be your choice. But after 40 years of pain, why would you choose to live with more? It's got there. I have to apologize again, but there are urgent matters I must attend to in my private reliquary. You're welcome to continue to make yourselves at home until I return. I really think we need to finish discussing all in due course. Ms. Castle. Wow. The whole movie we so of close. Murder Mill. I could feel the entity's force, its power pulsating through the steel mill. Until Sam Green's petty act of bravado ruined everything. The ritual disrupted. My key mangled. Yet Frank Stone didn't die that night. His essence was seared into the very foundations of the mill. An endless, agonized nightmare. I had to find the right means to awaken him. What? You just don't get it, do you? You think we're weak? That we're nothing? You make me sick! <laughs> There's just one thing you bastards will just never understand. You can tie us up. You can torture us. You can put us through every hellish trial your sick imaginations can come up with. But you'll never defeat our spirit. Oh, go, 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 go. Hey, there you go, he's out. Oh, no, no. My sister? Oh, God. Oh, all I have to do is betray my own sister, and you will let me go free to fight another day. God damn you! God damn you for forcing me to make this impossible choice! Mm-hmm. fail to see what truly makes us human. I'd rather die a thousand miserable deaths than betray someone I love. My answer is no. And there is nothing you can do to change my mind. All right, you alien scum. Do your worst. I can take it.
How was that? That was amazing. Really? It wasn't like too much? No way! Because I felt like maybe I oversold it a little. You gotta play to the cheap seats, Jaime. That's where the money is. Right. <laughs> How do we do, Linda? Was that a good one? Uh, let me check the gate. Oh, yeah, that's Linda? Super 8s? Um, no, actually. The lens doesn't come off, so... Somebody just wanted to show off all the fancy new crap they learned from the film production books in the library. I'm just trying to take the craft seriously. The craft! Jeez Louise! <laughs> so, are, are we good, or what? Yeah. I mean, it looked great. How did the blood gag look? Um... Well... Linda, you did get the blood gag, didn't you? I mean, it's really all about how Jaime sells it. I did really sell it. Yeah, but did you get any of it in frame? You kind of see it splash up in Jaime's face a little. Oh, Linda! I told you, I wanted a wide close-up that shows off our super cool bloody arm gag and Jaime's face acting. That's just an extreme shot of Jaime's face acting. I was in the moment. I have to be allowed to express my artistic instincts with the camera, too. And there's no such thing as a wide close-up. Or an extreme shot. Or face acting. It's just acting. Does anyone even care that I'm the director? <laughs> um. Yeah. Of course. Chris, you're the director. But, like, part of the job is working with people you trust, and I trust Linda's judgment on the camera stuff, you know? Let's just shoot both versions, and then we can see which way works better in the edit. And it'll be my way, because I'm the director. <laughs> Hold still. Let me clean you off. And we'll get it on this one. If we don't... You can just make it up to me in my trailer after the shoot. Yeah. Oh, it's like spearmint cough syrup. <laughs> yeah, all my gagging was kind of real. Mm, worth it. You guys want me to leave? All right, all right. On your feet, people. Everybody back to one. We're going again. We are going again. Okay. Yeah, go again. Sound speeds? Um, uh, camera speeds. All right, everybody settle. And hold, and hold, and action. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! No! Oh, dude, that is not good. What do you think you're doing in here? Oh, uh, hi, Mr. Green. Sheriff. Sheriff, right, sorry. How many times have I told you to stay away from this place? We were just in the middle of a take. A take? For our film production. You can't shoot a movie in here. But this is where the big climax happens. This is a condemned steel mill, Mr. Rivera. And you are trespassing. Now, unless you want to spend the night locked up in jail, I suggest you, Miss Castle, and Miss Dixie, Miss Tammy D. Dixie, Miss Gordon, Miss Christine Gordon. <laughs> I suggest you immediately vacate the premises, and you do not, under any circumstances, sit one foot back here in the Cedar Still Mill. Ever. Uh. No, reluctant. You gotta get those shots. Sheriff Green, sir, with all due respect, we almost got this thing entirely in the can, and if we don't get our last few shots here in our main location, we're gonna have to scrap the whole thing. Then you're just gonna have to scrap the whole thing. All right, then arrest us. What? Arrest us for trespassing. Uh, Linda. Linda, come on. I know I'm just Robert's dad, but I'm still a cop. And you gotta start taking me seriously. Because you really, really cannot be here. 
Why do you care so much? I thought it was abandoned. Yeah, it's not like we're looting the place. It's not safe. Just go home. But we've only got like three more little scenes and then we're done. Well, I don't think you're gonna be doing any more filming today. Not with that. Yeah, that camera's fucked. What the hell crawled up his ass? Nah, he's not so bad. Usually. We're not gonna do what he says, right? Really? We can figure out how to finish the movie when we get back to the garage. Dodge van. All wrapped out, sir. Now, don't you try and pull any fast ones on me. I'll be watching. Yes, sir. Remembering his old friend. Tom, I think. Yeah, Tom. Three, a curiosity on Man Street. Dramatic. It's not like we've got a real deadline. Ugh, who needs a real deadline when every wasted second brings you closer and closer to your ultimate cosmic eternal deadline? Gothic. <laughs> I like it. Hey, what are these? Oh, I got those for us all to wear when we shoot. Surprise. Wait, you guys are both acting. So it'll just be me? So you'll be like our ambassador. <laughs> yeah, not a chance. Hmm. So, whoa, don't open that up. I still haven't taken the film out yet. I thought it was broken. Well, yeah, the lens is cracked, but the footage is still good. Unless, you know, you open it. Ugh, whatever. We got some good stuff today. Glass half full. Dude, just let me be upset. <sighs> Doesn't Sheriff Green have anything better to do with his time? Like, go after actual criminals and shit? Cedar Hill is not exactly a noted hotbed of criminal activity. That's not entirely true. There was that whole serial killer thing. Hold up, what now? When was this? Uh, I was just a baby. I don't really know anything about it. Oh, you're still just a baby. And you still don't know anything. No, <laughs> you little baby and tell me all about this whole serial killer business. I know some stuff. Spill it, lady. For starters, I think that's why Sheriff Green doesn't want us to go in the steel mill. Oh, yeah, that's where it all went down. So you do know stuff. <gasps> and you held back, you traitor. Yeah, because I knew you'd get all like this. Hell yeah, I would. Linda, tell me about the steel mill killer. Well, that's where it all ended. But before that, there was a whole string of disappearances. Kidnappings, really. Murders. <sighs> so what was this guy's name? Maybe we should write him into the movie. Oh, I don't know if we... Frank Stone. Huh. So, Frank Stone was actually killing people in the steel mill? Like, our steel mill? Where we were just shooting, like, an hour ago? That's the theory. Frank was working at the mill, but I think it was on its last legs by then. Probably not a lot of people around. 
They shut it down right after. Uh, probing or puzzle. I'm going with my morbid curiosity. Sorry. Who are the you victims? find out. Just people. Some from the town. Some were never identified. The killings were random. There was no pattern. Like, how many are we talking? No one knows for sure. Because they never found the bodies. They found parts. Hmm. Why would the whole world is now? I'm gonna get excited. Come on. Do you know what this means? That we need a new location? No, dummy. That we already have the best location. How do you... Think about it. Our movie shot in a real-life murder mill? You can't buy that kind of publicity, Buster. Oh. People are actually gonna want to see this thing. We're gonna be, like, totally famous! Okay, sure. We might get some butts in seats, but, like... What if they don't like what they see? Then we just gotta make sure these last couple of scenes are gonna blow the top of their heads off. Ah, uh, fuck! But not if our fucking camera is fucking broken! Ugh. Hey, why don't we just take the camera to the drugstore and see if we can get it fixed? So, mm -hmm. yeah, the thing is, I kind of spent the rest of the budget on the t-shirts. Yeah. Unless you know of anybody looking to get into film finance, we're kind of shit out of luck. <laughs> What? Uh, um. You want a piece of me too? Uh, Javio, hey, okay. Hey, you okay? What's up? Nothing, it's fine. Mm hmm. Didn't sound fine. As soon as mom got sick, I dropped everything in my whole life in New York to come home and help. And all he does is act like I'm not doing enough. It's like he doesn't even care what I had to give up. I'm sure he's just worried about mom. Yeah, so am I. That's why I'm here. The least he could do is try not to drown me like I'm 16. Totally. What is he thinking, right? Sorry, I guess I just needed to blow off some steam. I get it. The last thing mom needs is for us to be screaming at each other. It's true. Yeah, and you've been doing an incredible job. I mean it. I, I don't know what we'd do without you. Uh-oh. What? What? Linda, where's the Jaime bell? <laughs> ring, ring. What's the Jaime bell? My darling brother has the tendency to uh, lay it on a little thick whenever he's about to ask for a favor. No, I'm just... Speaking from the heart. Okay. What do you need from me? Um, well, we're making this movie, and we're so close to finishing, but we just need a little extra bit of money. Of course you do. What else is new? What Jaime's trying to say is our camera got busted today, and we need a few bucks to get it fixed. Ouch. How much do you need? I'm guessing that is Maddie's mum, and that's how she got her footage. Uh, 20 bucks. Let's go casual. Just like 10 bucks? So, let's say hypothetically, I help you out. What do I get out of this? You gonna make me a producer or something? Sure. Of course. Associate producer, Bonnie Rivera. Associate producer is a bullshit favor credit. Linda! <laughs> okay, yeah, I don't really give a shit about having a credit on your movie. So, maybe if you actually have something real to offer? Hmm. How about I don't put that? You can borrow my van. Give it a van, fuck it. Uh, all right, all right, fine. You can borrow my van all week. <laughs> what? Dude, I wouldn't be caught dead in that thing. Oh, that's Vans right. are cool. Everybody wants to drive a van. No, try again. If I may offer a suggestion, Jaime, why don't you take over some of Bonnie's chores? Uh. Hmm, in 
enticing. Oh, man. All of my chores, no complaints. <sighs> yes, ma'am. Then I think we got a deal. Wise decision. Don't try and weasel out of it, either. Pleasure doing business with you. Pleasure's all mine. Yeah, that bunny is Maddie's mom. Gotta be. You all right there? You're looking a little, uh, wiggly. I'm fine, it's just... Uh, what is in that fake blood? I think it's just mint-flavored real blood. Oh, it did say to avoid any prolonged skin contact. You washed it all off, like, right away, right? Uh, you don't think it's, like, actually poisonous, do you? It's a horror movie, Jaime. Anyone could go... Yeah. <laughs> Time. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully there's enough time to fix the camera before they close tonight. I'm not sure the drugstore clerk will even know how to fix it. Hey, think positive. It's not like there's anywhere else in town we could take it. What? What about there? I thought that place was condemned. Guess they got a new tenant. Do curiosity shops even repair cameras? There was a place like that near my grandfather's house. The owner used to tinker with all sorts of old junk. You never know. I bet they have some rad old junk, too. Your call, hmm. Chris. <clears throat> a drugstore is a drugstore. A curiosity shop will have odds and ends. Obviously. Why not? I certainly am. Curious regarding said shop, eh? Yes, I get it. I'll lead the way. Hmm. Man, if I didn't know any better, I'd say this place looks like it's been here forever. And a half. Maybe you should write it in. Don't tempt me. What if the owner is a deranged serial killer who collects wayward teenagers and turns them into antiques. Then we hit the jackpot. <laughs> Check out the wares. <laughs> Ooh, cameras. Uh, these look like they've seen better days. They're not gonna put the best ones in the window. We gotta look inside. Ah, uh, too bad. So much for that. We can still out at the drugstore before it closes. And what is it you're looking for? Hello. Hello? We saw the cameras. We're trying to find a replacement for this. Of course you are. Please. Come on inside. She seems harmless. <clears throat> Now, let me see. I think I have something that may interest you, if I can find it out back. Please, make yourselves at home. Okay. And be sure to have a look around. You never know what treasures you might find. Make ourselves at home? Here? I don't know. I think it's kind of cozy. In a failed capitalist state kind of way. <laughs> Let's see. Could it have been in... No. Maybe... What's that? Oh, Cute bunny. I put all the... How has this place hmm. become such a mess? Still only one trinket. Talk to Linda. Let's examine first. Whoever owned this place before had some lousy luck. No. Nah. Dear Mr. Olson, this letter will serve to confirm the agreement regarding the sale of Ned's Nutty Ned Nax. Say that in a hurry. Three times. 
All relevant legal paperwork has been signed and you should receive payment by month's end. My client also wanted to extend their sympathies to your recent hardships. If there is any lesson to be drawn from this, it's that fire, death and casualty are not things that only happen to other people. Hopefully moving on from Cedar Hills will give you some distance from the bereavement. After all, time is a great healer and perhaps one day you'll find yourself able to adopt another cat. Respectfully, our stalker. Now, oh, all that for a cat. I'd be upset if my cat passed away. He's a good cat. Let's say hypothetically she does find a camera for us back there. What's the next move? We got everything we need to finish this sucker. Well, except the mill. Sheriff Green's gonna have his eyes glued to the front gates. No way we can get back in again. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, what's this? Oh, smiley pin. Yes, people, emojis were around before emojis were even thought of. Oh, wait. <clears throat> Who would want to watch this creep fest? Hmm. The TV from the dream. Huh. Oh, film reel. Oh, the trap! Imagine cuddling up to that at night. <laughs> and <they're> smiling. <clears throat> oh, cool! It lights up. Does it bring up again? No, it don't. There's a door here, I wonder. Uh, locked. Alright, let's speak to Linda. <clears throat> let's see. She comes running out straight at us with a giant chainsaw. I'm getting like so bummed out. You're in luck. A very fine item indeed. Hmm. Whoa. But may I? I insist. Ten bucks. It's pretty old. Possible we could make it work, but it's not exactly what we had in mind. Mm-hmm. Uh, how much are you asking for it? Oh, there's a tiny little price tag on it, but I seem to have forgotten my reading glasses. Why don't you take a look? Ten bucks. Um. Fuck it. Appreciative. Okay. Sure, I think that seems reasonable for something like this.
Thank you very much. Thanks for finding us a camera. Oh, it was no trouble at all. It truly is such a joy to see young people so passionate about the arts. Yeah. <laughs> yep, that's us. Okay. Wait, guys. Oh, I'm such a moron. I, I told my mom I'd pick up some milk on the way home. Oh, do you want me to... Hold this. Be right back. <laughs> Wait, Chris. <laughs> we just spent all the money. Emergency sock quarter. Emergency sock quarter? Oh, well. Okay. Buy the milk. All right. I ain't gonna keep bothering that, because it ain't gonna show me that it's got one trinket. Cursed movies? Really? Best be Left Berries. The dark mythology of the lost movie. There are those films that have been lost over time, which, in their absence, has developed an aura of mystery. These lost movies have fascinated film historians and conspiracy theorists alike. Not because they wish to marvel at the performance of the actors or craft of the director, but because they believe through whatever remnants of footage they can cobble together, they may gain a glimpse into the darker reality realized only by the camera. Most associated with the production have distanced themselves from the rumours around Dean's disappearance. The most persistent of which is that in the surviving footage of any scene involving Dean. One never fails to observe a strange rolling fod in the desert background. Perhaps there really was something lurking in the desert, waiting for its moment to come forth and claim the film star for its own twisted machinations. Wow, okay. That is true. Hey, what a logged shoe. Four names, four trials, she tells... Oh, I didn't catch that. Maybe you guys caught that. Found a second trinket, though. Right. Another missing kid. <clears throat> missing, Benny Baker. A missing children skin. Okay. So it would appear that everything's ramping up. Oh, I can't play that. That sucks. Ooh, what's this? I could so find a place for these in murder mill. If we had any cash to spare. Which we absolutely do not. <laughs> hmm? That's the light. Okay. Well, I think we're ready to go. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> hey, Chris. Robert! Well... Wait, I thought you worked at the library. How would you know? Don't think I ever saw you come in. I got spies everywhere, man. So, Linda. Busted. <laughs> <laughs> you can always come in yourself, you know. Books don't bite. Uh, Linda's the bookworm. I'm more of a movie worm. Mm, I don't think that's a real kind of worm. Neither's a bookworm. 
Ah, so we're about to close in like two minutes, so. Oh, right, yeah. Ring me up. All right, that'll be 25 cents. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you sure don't see coin like this working in the library. Actually, you don't see any coin. <laughs> it's volunteer hours. Not so bad if you like to read, I guess. Mm, true. We've got a rad horror section, too. Didn't know you were a horror guy. Just books? Movies, comics, too. Whatever I can get my hands on. You know, Jaime and Linda and I are all making a horror movie. Down at the old Cedar Steel Mill. No kidding. We could always use an extra hand if you're into that kind of thing. Uh, super into it. But... Does my dad know you're going into the mill? Yeah. He watches <clears throat> that place like a hawk. Uh, yeah, we had a little run-in with him today. But we're gonna sneak back in to shoot the rest. Really? Man. I would love to be involved. Involved in what? Hey, Dad. Yeah, uh, Chris was just telling me about a, um, a... We're putting together a fundraiser. To show movies at the library. Okay. <laughs> I bought it. You need a ride home? Oh, yeah. Uh, let me just get my bag. Sam knows. Chris. I'm sorry I was a little harsh with you and your friends before. I just wanted to make sure you're taking me seriously. Provocative, defiant. Okay. We're still gonna finish on me. Provocative. I get it. They told me about Frank Stone. Gotta be a lot of demons in a place like that. When you spend enough time in my line of work, you realize every place has got its demons. You ready? Take care. Hey, hey, hey. I can get you back into the mill without him knowing. Just huh? say the word. Let's make a movie. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, um... I have worn many masks over the centuries. Dr. Augustine Lieber was renowned, professional and trusted. Frank Stone confided in me, allowed me to unlock his potential during those dark days in the psychiatric ward. And now, a new guise, a new timeline. A new chance. Giving them the camera, I admit, was unfair, even for me. They mm -hmm. couldn't know what power they held in their hands, nor what cruelty awaits them in the steel mill. But what true creator wouldn't suffer for their art? I knew there was something iffy about that old lady. She's Augustine. Four. These walls have eyes. Oh, we're back in the present day. Um, shall we go? Shall we go probing? She's having bad dreams, obviously. Bad dream? Ugh, how long was I out? I, I don't even remember falling asleep. 
15, 20 minutes? <sighs> Seems like it was a pretty intense dream. Maybe. Yeah, I'm used to it. Wait, what happened to Augustine again? She left. L left? She said she had to do something very urgently in her private reliquary. Hey, now that we're all awake again, can we forget about Augustine for a minute and talk about the a thousand foot long elephant in the room? Thousand, oh. Thousand feet is the average length of film in a movie? <laughs> oh. Guess you were all playing it close to the best before, huh? It's not my film. I, I didn't, I just worked on it, didn't direct it. It's not even on my official filmography. I meant how we were all holding back about our film strips. Oh, right. Whether you take credit for it or not, it's definitely the most infamous project that's uh, associated with you. Cursed film collectors have been unsuccessfully searching for any trace of it for years. And now we are all here, each with our own little slice of a mysterious pie. It's a pretty big deal. So all of our film strips, they're part of this movie you and your friends made, Linda? If they're not fakes, yeah. Mine's not fake. And all that stuff you said about it being cursed? Murderous rages, CIA interrogation, total disassociation with reality. Because it's so rare, only a few people know for sure. So is they. If Augustine wants the only known surviving pieces of it, <laughs> she's gonna have to pay up. Hmm. Why do you think she wants it so bad? I mean, it's not really cursed, right? I prefer not to dwell on the past. We're here, someone's offering to buy our sections of the film. That is all I'm concerned with right now. Providence goes a long way towards a successful sale. So do motives. I don't know about you, but I would very much like to know why Augustine is so desperate to get her hands on this film. Well, first rule of business is to gather every bit of intel you can on your opponent. I don't know about you two ladies, but I have been itching to get a little look-see around this big old house of curiosities. <laughs> Are we allowed to look around? What do you say, Director? Want to keep sitting around, or want to peek behind the curtain? <laughs> Um, good here. <clears throat> what are you waiting for? Let's have a look. What are you waiting for? <laughs> oh, now this is a real bold statement kind of room, you know what I mean? Huh. New Augustine got cash, but not like this kind of cash. Sounds like you didn't scout your mark as well as you thought. In business, we don't call them marks. Hustling is a rocket, not a business. I wouldn't underestimate my scouting skills if I were you. <laughs> but rattling around up here, that could be mutually beneficial. Um... <clears throat> Okay. How do you tell me about Augustina? How do you know about the? Why don't you tell me how you know so much about Murder Mill? I'm a big fan. <laughs> it's your first credit. Cut the shit, man. Okay. You want to know the truth? When I first heard about it, I didn't believe it was real. But the more I looked into it, the more breadcrumbs I found. And the further I followed the trail, the more fascinated I became. Not just in the film, but in the legend. Whether you meant to or not, you created a monster with this movie. Even if it isn't really cursed, the fact that everyone believes it is makes it real. Believing in something doesn't make it real. Well, that's why I had to find out for myself. It took me a couple years, but... When the opportunity came for me to actually acquire a genuine piece of it, I... I jumped at the chance. And just how did you acquire it, exactly? Hey, uh... Just catching up. 
So, what have you guys found? Not much. But the night's young. <clears throat> Not as young as you think. <clears throat> Let's keep looking around. Hmm. Can't deny this place would make an incredible film location. Atrium. Um. <clears throat> I love your outfit, by the way. Well, thanks. It's mm -hmm. Italian. Well, the shoes are Italian. And a belt. I got a cheat from a guy. He's got a guy who's got a pants guy. So I got these pants from his guy's guy. Had them tailored just right by the other guy I know, who also got me the blazer, which is like a super limited VIP club edition. <laughs> you want to know a secret? Sure. Found the turtleneck in a second-hand mm. shop. Scandalous. Ah, yes. Let's check out the other floors. Good thinking. Wait. H hold on a second. What? Before all this goes any further, I need to know how both of you got your pieces of the film. Um, well, it's no secret, really. Um, after my mom died a few months ago, I found it when I was going through her stuff. Maddie, what was your mom's name? Both, or... Was it Bonnie Rivera? Yeah, it... How did you know that? You look just like her. Did you know my mom? Mm. A long time ago. A whole other lifetime. Her younger brother, Jaime, was one of my closest friends. Uncle Jaime, I, um, I never met him. I hadn't heard that Bunny had passed. Yeah, it was pretty sudden. Wow. Daddy, that's... It's quite sad. Very touching. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. Because <clears throat> I did start interrogating him first. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. It's never easy to lose someone you love. Thanks. Lucky for me, it wasn't my first rodeo. <sighs> Bonnie. I wish I'd stayed in touch with her. Weren't you wondering where both of our film strips came from? Mm -hmm. I don't suppose you'd like to enlighten me. Of course. And? Well, I can't just tell you for free, can I? This kind of information is very valuable. What's your price? Mm. You know what? I'm gonna have to get back mm. to you on that. All right. If I get the chance to save Man Bun, he's dying. A, because he has a Man Bun. B, because he's a dick. <clears throat> and C, because he's got a Man Bun. Mm. Cool statue. Hmm, missing a piece, though. What is it missing, though? Wow. Powerful resemblance in Augustine's family. That or Augustine loves cosplay. <laughs> Whoa. Quite a piece. Look at the metalwork. It's beautiful. Oh, what's this? Oh! Sensationalist trash. Sam Green took down Frank Stone. I could write a better book than this. That fateful night I had sent one of my deputies over to check in on one thing. Not my first choice. The flat foot was from out of state. And a little green for my liking. But all he had to do was hold the line and report back. When anything suspicious, but then Tommy called. 
I knew this was it. Standing before the furnace, I thought I'd stepped into a fiery depths of hell itself. And there was Stone, standing on that platform like a twisted gargoyle, a tiny bundle of innocence held in his death grip. I am not afraid to admit I was scared. I had only a moment to act before all was lost. So I drew my gun, took a deep breath and made a silent prayer that my aim would strike true. That sounds like a load of bullshit. <clears throat> Stone's corpse wasn't even cold before a whole bunch of out-of-towners descended on Casita Hills, trying to grab their piece of the action. Lawyers, reporters, rubberneckers, you name it. More than a few weren't satisfied with what they found. They wanted to make a conspiracy out of it. Said he must have had an accomplice to do what he did. Me? I don't buy it. Never have. That's because I know firsthand that he acted alone. Saw it with my own eyes. So to all those who claim otherwise, I say this. One monster was enough for Cedar Hills. I should check on Maddie. <laughs> Can't be easy meeting someone from her mom's past. That, yeah? that sheriff is a What would a you bullshit. do if it was you here instead of me? <laughs> no way. You'd be climbing the walls looking for a way out. Who's huh? Dan? Psh, not in a million years. No way. Huh? Who's she talking to? You sure would get a kick out of this place. And then you'd probably kick me out of this place and keep it all to yourself. Who are you hmm. talking to? Mm, uh, no, I... I wasn't... I could hear you. I was talking to my mom. To Bonnie. I was in Berlin, you know, at school, when I heard she was sick. But it was my midterms and... She said I should just come home when I finished. So I did. But by then it was too late. She died while I was over the Atlantic. It all happened so fast it doesn't feel like she's gone. So I just kind of pretend like she isn't. She was a good talker. <laughs> yeah, she was. Hey, look at this. This was just last summer. I know you said it had been a really long time, but can you tell me anything about her from when you knew her? Ah, uh, gosh. Well, she was the most intimidating girl I've ever met. <laughs> Even after I got to know her. She did everything she wanted to do, and nobody could stop her. <laughs> and that sounds like Mom. Any good stories? Uh, nostalgic. Uh, it was... It's not a good idea to go on the past. There's something I never told anyone else. There you go, nostalgia. Be nice to the girl. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there is something I've been thinking about. I've never told anyone else. It was a long time ago. We were just kids making a movie. Jaime, Chris, and me. Everything's still so fuzzy about what happened, but there's one thing that always just stuck in my mind. Clear as a bell. That night, we were on our way home from picking up a new camera. We were driving past the Rivera's house, 
The garage door was wide open, full of light, and the craziest fucking sound you ever heard was just tearing out of there in every direction. And right in the middle of it all was Bonnie. <laughs> I, I don't think I've ever seen anyone so completely in tune with themselves. The only thing that mattered was that moment. Nothing else. That was your mom. <laughs> she looks like she's playing guitar, but the tuning pegs say as bass. Hey guys? Hmm? Look. What? Look at what? I don't see anything. Ah! There! Right there! Oh my god, there's someone out there! Mm hmm. <laughs> Great. If this plot gets any thicker, it's going to need a new pair of jeans. Huh. Um, do you guys think we should be worried? I mean, what if they're dangerous? Maybe we should find Augustine and let her know. Even if you wanted to tell her, good luck finding her. She said she was going to her private reliquary. That's a place for artifacts, right? There's artifacts all over the place. Right. So, if you were going to have a private place for extra special, extra valuable artifacts, maybe you'd put them behind a door like that. Hmm. You've got a point. Can't we just knock? I doubt anything can get through that, including sound. Which means it might be the safest place to be, whether Augustine's in there or not. Okay. Who the hell is that? Oh, here we are. <clears throat> the Phantom of Xedo Steel. Back in 1980 again, guys. What's taking them so long? I thought we were gonna have a production meeting before we shoot. Fans already all loaded up. I read an article that said girls don't like it when guys get all twisted up about their punctuality. They find it controlling. What? Why did you need an article to tell you that? I just thought you might find that information useful. I'm not trying to control Chris. Just got a lot to do. Uh huh. Ooh. Right on time. Time to get cooking. What? Nothing, nothing. Just try to keep a low profile. Bonnie's snooping around. All right. Is everybody ready to get this production meeting started? We got a big night ahead of us. Guys, I, I gotta tell you, my mind's going like a million miles an hour right now. Did you know you can get, like, every newspaper article ever written at the library? It's insane! It's all right there! No, tell me more. I've spent, like, all day <laughs> looking up every single thing I could find about Frank Stone, the mill, the murders. We are sitting on a freaking gold mine here. Sounds like a productive day. <clears throat> and, yes, I had some help from my, uh, assistant. I ain't please. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Now that you are an official member of the team, gotta wear the team jersey! <laughs> wow. This is... <laughs> this is amazing. I'm, I'm honored. You wanna wear the stripes? You gotta earn the rights. I promise I'll be the best ancillary producer you've ever seen. <laughs> Production assistant. Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> Feast your eyes. Whoa. Wait, where's Sheriff Green? Ah, mm. uh, yeah, so Dad's never exactly been stoked about that. But I thought he got the guy. Yeah. 
and Sheriff Kushik took all the credit. People around here knew what was up, but... Let me see that. This one's a 10-year retrospective. They go into all sorts of grisly details left out of the press the first time around. And Dad got a little more credit, too. This is big deal stuff. We're making our movie in the very same spot it went down. Can't beat that. Um... Stone's victim. Yeah, let's go on easy. Stone's victims were... Real people. This was a real person. Yeah? So? I don't know. It's one thing to talk about it. It's another thing to look at their picture. And this is suddenly now a problem for you? It's not a problem. It's just a little weird. You were just like super gung-ho when I got here. What gives, man? Nothing. I just don't want to like exploit any of the victims or whatever. We're not going to exploit Stone's victims. I'm just trying to maximize the potential of our main location. That's how you make a good movie. You're missing the point. Eh, no point fighting about it, is there? Just go with it. Go with the flow, dude. Okay. Yeah, you're right. We've only got one shot at this. Yeah. So, let's not fuck it up. Can we help? Nah, Robert and I will go through and see if there's any other good places in the mill to shoot. Then we'll head out. Okay, look around the garage and talk to Linda. Oh, let's check out the bulletin board. Here, why don't you start with these? So we're looking for Frank Stone. I can't believe Mom's we're finally looking getting for out. Anything referencing specific I can't wait. locations in the mill that could be associated with Frank Stone? The mill's a pretty huge place. That's why I'm sure there's got to be something we haven't found yet. Definitely possible. We'll find it. Yeah, it's probably just telling me I've got two trinkets. Here, look at Ooh. this. Mill projections dire for fall season. Oh, cool. It mentions Off Frank. The no, but it, it goes universe. into the mindset of the workers. People were depressed. There were suicides. At the mill? Not at the mill, but like people who worked there or got laid off. Damn. This was a year or two before the murder started. Does not sound like a fun place to spend a 12 hour shift. An omniverse? Cool like this. Or out. The mill was in serious decline. But if it doesn't mention Frank. I don't know. It's all related to him, uh, to the way he was, or, or why he did what he did, or. That's your expert opinion? It's just a hunch. Uh, let's talk to Linda. I didn't want to say anything, but I'm just not a fan of this. Mm. Understandable. <clears throat> Her obsession with Frank Stein is intense. Should I be worried about Robert? Her whole obsession with Frank Stone and the murders just feels a little intense. Maybe it's because she's not from Cedar Hills, but you know, those victims could have been any of us or our families. But they weren't. So you don't think it matters either? I didn't say it didn't matter. I just meant it happened a long time ago. Mm -hmm. And Chris is excited because some of the locations could work really well for the film. Like this one. Take a look. Mm -hmm. What is all this? I came up with a new scene to shoot. Is she wrote? Yeah. Does Chris? I told Chris about it last night. Oh, she was into it? Yeah, we'll shoot it if we have time. Cool. This furnished chamber location is perfect, but I wouldn't have known about it without Chris's research. Mm. They shouldn't have wasted all this time. Very bad. Um, that's a tough one. It is a tough one. 
Um. Um. He was concerned. I don't know. This looks cool, but I really don't think they should have wasted all this time doing more research. She's the director. She calls the shots. It's our movie. But she's the director. Huh? What is... It's a picture of Frank Stone? Look at the date. Yeah. Oh, yeah! What? This is from before the murders, before they realized it was Frank! It's about mill operations, kind of a puff piece to drum up interest in new recruits. Hello, what is this? Look at the caption. Worker Frank Stone, machine shop! Bullseye! Machine shop, huh? We've got to shoot there, that's it! That's the place! It's perfect. So, time to go? Okay, people! Company move! Time to head on out and shoot the shit out of this thing. Let's go, let's go. Time is money. Let's make a movie. Ah. Hmm. Now, what were you little ding-dongs working on? Hello. Interesting. Ah. They could Ladies have at least killed the lights. I present the mill. Yep. There it is. Oh, you see the creek down there? We follow that, takes us right to the secret entrance. I don't see it. That's why it's secret. We don't have to do this. Yes, we do. Ready? Oh, careful. First step's a doozy. All right. This way. Let's follow. <clears throat> Breathe in. Follow Robert and get into the mill. I can't believe we're gonna see the place where Frank Stone actually killed people. Freaking. Okay, two ways into the storm drain from here. One easy and one hard. They're both medium difficulty. Then give us medium one first. Well, medium one is to climb the gate over there. Then it's like a straight shot right in. But it'll take us pretty close to my dad's patrol route. And mm. medium two? Medium two is we cross to the other side, where we're a lot further away from my dad. But it's also going to take a bit longer. Those are both very medium. Right down the middle. So, which way? Let's avoid his dad at all costs. I'd rather keep a little distance between us and the law. No offense. Hey, I don't want to get in any trouble either. So, we should cross. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I half expected a quick, quick time event. Your dad really patrols the mill every single night? Ever since I can remember. Huh. I used to think it was weird, but it's just kind of his thing. Growing up, nothing killed a friendly conversation quicker than someone calling my dad the hero of Cedar Hills. I remember he didn't want to be interviewed for that profile they ran for the 10th anniversary. He had a cool title, though. What was the title? The Man Who Drew Blood from a Stone. Damn. <laughs> I mean, it could make a good title for the other movie. Uh, other movie? We were just batting some ideas around, just spitballing. Cool. Uh, maybe we should stick to finishing one movie at a time. Totally, yeah. <laughs> the 
hell is that sound? Oh, someone's in the woods. That is actually trickier than, um, oh, what's the other one? That is actually trickier to do than, um, the devil in me. There's a lot, a lot of messing about. Alright, lead the way, Rob. Definitely something in the woods. Made it. This place is awesome. I wonder what we'll find inside. Absolutely sure this is safe and we're not gonna fall into some kind of ventilation shaft full of whirling fan blades. I can't promise you won't, but at least you'll be able to see them as they tear you to pieces. <laughs> uh, thanks. Brought one for everyone? Yep. What you got in there? Ah, well, the flashlights, uh, my notebook, some pens, a couple of granola bars, three ponchos, first aid kit. Bottle opener, sunscreen, collapsible cookware, and utensils. <laughs> you know we're not hiking the Appalachian Trail, right? Always be prepared. <laughs> oh, someone's spying on us. This does not bode well for us. <clears throat> we must be under the mill by now. Just gotta find a way up. Haven't you ever talked to your dad about that night? What night? The night he was here with Frank Stone? <sighs> there was one time. Let's go right here. Oh! Who would have left the this here? The spectre that stalks the fog. Hmm. 
Is everyone fucked off without me? Bastards. Oh, they're over there. Let's have a look in here. I'm not sure about Linda's new scene, but if I pull the director card, she'll probably never talk to me again. Hmm. Huh, little key. What a <clears throat> casting shed. Better get back to Robert. That's locked. Alright. Uh, where are the others? Up here. That's... As I was going to say, <clears throat> when I was little, and he was really drunk, even though he doesn't remember, I kind of like knowing what he went through. I get that. He didn't talk to me like a little kid or like my dad. I got to see him the way he really is. He showed me all his scars. You know, he fucked up his shoulder that night real bad. Still mm. can't use it like he used to. Probably never will. Damn. I didn't know it was so intense. He told me he and Frank Stone squared off face to face. Right here in the mill. The furnace chamber, actually. No oh, shit. What else did he tell you? Just that... He... Saw things no man should ever see. Or know. What does that mean? Every time I've ever brought it up... Gets that look in his eye. And I just don't want to see him like that. Hmm. You sound disappointed. No. No. But I'm glad you've got such a good relationship with your dad. Me too. Let's see here. <clears throat> Closed off, closed off. Locked. No. Didn't see anything. I'm guessing the other two have gone on ahead. Nearly there. So other people have been here before us. Gotta love a scenic route. Any major plans for after we graduate? Uh, I haven't given it much thought. Not like you. What makes you think I have? I can just tell. The film, the directing, it's in your blood. And your blood? You want to be a cop like your dad? No way. I think this is it. Up there. Last chance to turn back.
Oh, thank goodness. Oh, yes! Robert, you're a genius. Good call on the storm drain. Thank you, Robert. Come on, people! No more standing around flapping our yap sacks. One more scene and we're done. The hell? <clears throat> How is that for you? I think we got it. You know what that means, right? And that's a picture wrap on Murderville! Way to go, everybody! <clears throat> Damn! <clears throat> a little premature with the face. We still have one more scene. Hmm. Uh, I think we still have one more scene left to go before we're officially wrapped. Wait, what's the last scene? Uh, right, yeah. Linda pitched shooting a scene that would flesh out our backstories. Adding a little flesh, huh? Yeah, I think we could work with that. But you're playing brother and sister. Come on. With our chemistry? Nobody's gonna buy that. Where are you thinking we'd shoot the new scene? I do have a place in mind, actually. Oh, yeah. That's the furnace chamber, right? What do you guys think? I say we do it. Sounds good. Yo, you coming? Uh, yeah, be right there. Did you see something? No, it was nothing. You sure? You seem kind of spooked. What's up? Nothing. Nothing, right. Except Jaime saw a ghost back there. Okay, I'm not five. I don't believe in ghosts. You will. Ah, get off me! Get off me! Ah, Bonnie. Ah, yeah. Gotcha. Not cool, Bonnie. Disagree. Not cool. <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm part of the crew. We don't need any help. Then I'll just hang out and stay out of your way. This is a closed set. <laughs> Apparently not. I mean. Uh, um, Bonnie. I really think you should be helping Dad at home right now. You've got a lot on your plate, you know, and, uh... And that's all I'm good for? Uh, uh no, 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 I mean... Uh... <clears throat> Linda? Mm-hmm. I don't care if she takes a long... Bonnie's gonna do what Bonnie's gonna... Bonnie's gonna do what she's gonna do. I get the feeling Bonnie's gonna do what Bonnie's gonna do, no matter what we say, and that's that. Well, okay, are we just gonna stand around or are we gonna make a movie? Time is money, right? Just make sure you don't get in the way. We've still got a lot to do and I don't work well with distractions on my set. I think you mean our set. <laughs> All right, find the door to the furnace chamber. This has actually been really relaxed. All right. Especially for uh, super massive games. Though I do feel that it's gonna start ramping up now. You okay? Uh, no, yeah. It's just yeah or this not is right where my dad came face to face with Frank Stone I always had a mental picture of it but 
now that I'm actually seeing it with my own eyes, I don't know, it's different. Okay. Find a place to shoot. Okay. Easy. There's Frank Stone. You can see his face imprinted in it. Chris, 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 Chris. There's Chris. There you go. Here's what we're gonna do. Hi, May, Chris. You start here. Robert and I will follow. Uh, Bonnie, j just stay behind and try not to make too much sound while we're rolling. You got it, boss. All right. Everybody ready for a take? Lights ready. Sound speeds. Hi, May. Chris, all set. And action. Is there something else you want to say to me? Because now's your last chance. Yeah, as a matter of fact, there is. Don't do this. I have to. No, you don't. You know that's not true. Well, maybe I'd feel better if it were anyone else. Who else is there? But it's not fair. No one said it was. Already lost mom and dad. I don't want to lose you too. Now who's being unfair? At least I'm not being selfish. Selfish? I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this for our parents. If I can pull this off, it might not be too late to save mom and dad. That's impossible. Nothing is impossible. Something about this just doesn't seem right. Do you trust me? I... I... Do you trust me? Yes, of course! Then you know what I have to do. And cut! Linda, that was sick! Totally, felt like just what this thing needed. How was the lighting? It was great, thanks. Did you hear that weird groan right at the end there? Uh, no, but don't sweat it. We're gonna replace the sound at Jaime's anyway. Hmm. How'd I do? Yeah, good. It was... Jaime, it was perfect. Do you really think so? It was everything we needed the scene to do. Still going. You okay? Yeah. Uh, something about this just doesn't seem right. Uh, okay. That's not what I sounded like. I don't know. It was pretty spot on. Gotta agree. Gotta agree. I don't go around doing impressions of you dopes. You do impressions of me all the time. And me. I feel honored to have just joined the list. God damn, kids, that was fun. You really thought it was okay? Yeah, better than half the films I see in New York. I mean, one of them was just a five-hour shot of a guy sleeping. Wow. Seriously. I'm impressed. There may be just, um... I gotta <clears throat> be honest. What? You really didn't think I'd notice what you were doing? Um, what was I doing? Just playing out your own bullshit interpretation of real life. Hmm? I don't understand. Sacrificing your own life for the good of your sibling and your parents definitely sounds familiar. Hmm. Almost like it could even be based on someone we know, but gee, I wonder who. That's not fair, Bonnie. No one said it was. We're trying to make something fun. I'm not trying to make everyone else miserable. At least I'm not being selfish. Selfish? Don't throw the lines back at me. What? You don't want to tell me how noble it is that you're making this movie with your girlfriend while I had to scrub my entire life to take care of you and dad? Ouch. I liked it better when you were gone. Casual. Hey, uh, Bonnie, you want to come outside with me for a minute? I could use your help with something. Yeah, sure. Whatever.
course, those two survived the night. But what of the other three? So, I, I just wanted to tell you uh, how much I loved making this movie with you. Me too. I mean, with you, not with me, also. <laughs> you know what I mean. I think we should do something special to mark the occasion. So, I don't know if I'm quite ready to break out the champagne just yet. But we finished the movie. It's in the can. We finished the shoot, yeah, but... We're still gonna have to sell people on this thing. Okay, sure. Mm -hmm. We should keep exploring this place while we still can. I don't know if that's a good idea. Well, if we can just get, like, one more shot of something directly connected to Frank Stone, like, anything he might have left behind, we'll get all the attention in the world. We should look for that place from the newspaper article, The Machine Shop. Uh... Hey, Chris. Hmm? What can you see? Uh, ah. Something freaky. I don't know if I can describe it. I'll try shooting a little. That's right. <clears throat> Where's faces? Something. Whoa! Ain't that something? Ah, rats. What's up? Camera needs cranking. Hold on. <sighs> that did it. Okay, let me get more. <sighs> Whatever the hell that was, it's gonna look great in the movie. <laughs> Doral, take us to the machine shop? Hmm. Only one way to find out. Well, let's go take a look. Oh, well, there we go. Are we going back to the present again? No, we're still in the past. My dad would kill me if he knew I was in here right now. Just rip my limbs off one by one. I thought the sheriff was all bark and no bite. Not if you're his son. Danny's all of both. Don't you think it's weird how obsessed with this place he Wait. is? I guess so. Hey. I mean, he always has been long as I can remember. I didn't even know it was weird until I got old enough to realize all the long walks he liked to take in the middle of the night were in the abandoned still mill where he killed a guy. Maybe that's why he comes back to the scene of the crime. Maybe it helps him somehow. Honestly, I don't even think he wants to be helped. I missed a chat prompt. Can't go that way. So there's got to be another way around.
Where's the boy sky? Oh, they're still out here. They're just going to keep looking around there, are they? Dead end. Oh. Not this way. Why is it always clowns? Could be a way up there. <clears throat> but, um, I've moved them. I can't move them anymore. There has to be a way up there, though. if I move this out and get on the other side here and then push from here oh there and through here Please, through there. And now, I've got a balance on here. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's gonna hurt. I'm oh, halfway there. Alright, let's give her another go. So, we're getting to the end of the, this night, so we must be close to the end of the current night. Oh, oh. Perfect. Now, what have I? Okay. So now, jump. Jump. Oh. Examine. Hey, got another. So uh, now I'm guessing that I kick that down. And we climb down here.
okay. <clears throat> And found a machine shop, let's go. Wait a second. Guys, this is it. This is the machine shop. Hmm. Holy crap. It is. Man, Chris, you really know how to find the coolest stuff. Totally. Nice work, Chris. Let's look around and see what we can find. Yes. Yeah. You really think we're gonna find anything the police miss? They're pretty thorough, right? They do miss, though. Look at that. The train? Yeah. Yeah, in the article. It's a skeleton crew now. We're all pulling triple duty. I'm the only one left who even knows how to work some of the machines. The rolling miller, the shears, the freight transfer system, said Frank Stone. If Frank was the only one left who knew how to use the freight transfer system, and that one still suspended, I bet it never got searched. Not thoroughly. Ah, uh, good point. I doubt there's any bodies in there. There's no harm in looking, though, right? If it's even possible to get up there. Let's find a way. Come on. Mm, I'm not a puzzle. Gotta be a way to get up there. Now, like the curator said in Little Hope, <clears throat> there is not much you can do about the past, only what is the future. This should open the door, right? Yeah, in theory, if there was actual power. Let's see what Robert has found. <clears throat> ah. Broken? Looks like, yeah. Let me take a look. <clears throat> An old Jenny. Hey, can I ask you something there? Uh, sure. How come you never asked me to work on your movie? Oh, uh, well, it's, it's Chris's movie. She decides who works on it. Yeah, but I mean, you know I'm like a huge horror guy, too. I could have been helping you right from the start. But it's not... That, that, that wasn't, um... Wasn't what? We're making a horror movie, yeah, but like... I don't know. The point was for me and my girlfriend and best friend to all do something together. Like... Just us. So... I'm just in the way, then. Mm. You're spending a lot of time with my girlfriend. <clears throat> mm. Oh, a few minutes alone with Chris. Mm, suspicion. You do seem to have been spending a lot of time with my girlfriend lately. And you know what she spends 80% of her time doing when we're together? Talking about how amazing her boyfriend is. Mm hmm? <laughs> what? It's actually kind of annoying. <laughs> What's up, party people? Uh, so that door over there needs power for it to open. Generator working? Nah. Unfortunately, it's toast. I can get it working. Just need to scrounge up a few parts and it'll be good as new. And let's go scrounging. Well. <clears throat> Fine. Ah, oh, right. Okay. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh. The 
This might work with the generator. Yep, take it. Bunny and Linda went outside, but, you know, obviously they are to survive. But clearly they were smarter than these three. Hmm. Could help with the generator? Yes. We need to find some parts. Oh, that's from back. Basically done. Just gotta finish the repairs. Right, let's rush back to the Jenny. Now I know that working on the Jenny. Damn it. Working on generators and getting them working is supposed to be, um, there we go. Yeah, working on generators is supposed to be a thing in the actual game. <clears throat> This whole building's working off one generator. Not bad. Alright. <clears throat> now let's see if this works. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're getting somewhere. <clears throat> oh. Door's locked. Maybe there's another way in there. Oh. See that here? So there's got to be a way around here. Can't believe they got me crawling through the roof ducts like a raccoon. Yep, well, more for you, dude. Let's go. Okay. What have we here? Made it to the office. So, what do you unlock, little key? F stone. Use the key to unlock the box car. Find anything? Yep. It's got a label on it. F stone. Holy shit. You think? This could be a real connection to Frank Stone. Oh man. 
No, I put his name on someone else's key. Let's see if the key unlocks the boxcar. Where's the door to it, though? Ah, oh, there it is. This way. Hmm. Is this really wise? Hmm. I'll go first. Easy is one, two, three. Well, if it's that easy. Gotcha. Ooh. Ooh. Thanks, man. That would not have been a pleasant way to go. I would not have wanted to break it to your dad. That would be an even more unpleasant way to go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Check it. Wow. Right through the wall. Oh. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, someone's hand in the jaw. Is is that a Yeah. And it's got friends. <sighs> <laughs> this is insane. Explore the lair. Wow. It must have come loose when the freight broke through. Hmm. A notebook. Other people. Parker D. No. Want to get close. Feel every blow. Hear their screams. Tesla E. This time make it last. Better control. For the next small cut keeps being. Taste their fear. A creature forged to purge the world. Use what's at hand. No, not what I see at night. Inspire teller. Cut plus fix. <clears throat> this must be how Stone got in and out. Oh. I guess the cops never connected Frank Stone to this. Colhan and friend murdered to save police. 962, bloody hell. Following several days of rumours and speculation, Sheriff Lloyd Kushik last night confirmed he is treating the deaths of George Colhan and Joyce Barton as Hawkline Point last night, Thursday night. As a double murder. Hmm. Oh, fuck! What is it? Oh! Ahead. Damn! I think she was one of Stone's victims. There, we found her. There, we found her. 
I don't think the police ever found this place. How do you know that? Because they wouldn't have just left all this stuff here. I'm sorry, man. I think I gotta go get my dad now. Hmm. This is like real deal, no joke kind of shit, man. We can't get the sheriff now. I'm serious. We really shouldn't be in here anymore. <laughs> Robert, back off, man. Just wait. Wait for what? Chris. I know how important your movie is. But this whole place is part of an actual murder case now. But it's ancient history. There's no statute of limitations on murder. Which means right now, we're tampering with evidence. You wanna fuck with that? But the movie? The movie's done. I thought you were... Robert's right. You should get the sheriff. We got what we need. <laughs> Go. Just don't touch anything else, okay? <clears throat> we should get the hell out of here. Yeah, let's go. We gotta go. Oh, are you kidding me? Maybe we should wait outside uh, until Robert comes back. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell? Hey, whoa, what the fuck? You can't move that. Yo, chill out, man. I'll put it back before the sheriff gets here. I'm just gonna get one quick shot first. Uh, sure, yeah. Can't miss an opportunity to exploit Frank Stone's actual victims for your movie. We're making this movie together. Doesn't feel like we're doing much together at all lately. Not just the two of us. Hi, May. Every time I turn around, there you are with Robert. I can't seem to get a second alone with you. We're alone now. Yeah. And all I can think about is you and Robert. Uh, you asked Linda to work on the movie with us? We needed help. And she's my friend. I wanted you guys to get to know each other. Well, sometimes it feels like I'm being ganged up on. That's not true. We're not ganging up on you. It's how I feel. Yeah, but it's not true. You don't get to tell me how I feel, man. Hi, May. I understand where you're coming from. We can talk about it. But right now, we're running out of time, and I just want to focus on finishing up and getting out of here. And then, as soon as we're done, it's you and me again, all the way. Mm -hmm. No friends. Okay. Okay. Yeah, sure. I appreciate that you'll hear me out. Thank you. Yeah. So... Should we wait outside? You go. I'll be right there. Promise. <laughs> Please don't make me jealous of a disembodied hand. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Is there a reason I should be? You?
What the hell? from what the hell holy shit Beyond the Gate, Chapter 6, Back in Present Day. Anything? Nothing. Not that I can see. I'm telling you, this door is a waste of time. Whatever's back there, it's important enough that she's put it behind this thing. I think the only way in is to solve it. There's an okay. empty slot. So there must be a missing piece that fits here. Okay, let's say we all go hunting around this place for the missing cylinder tumbler thing. Even if we manage to find it, how do we solve the rest of it? Maybe there's something else in the atrium that's like a clue. Why would anyone put a clue for their massively complicated lock right out in the open? Practically right in front of it. Just a guess, but... Why not try this? Good guess. Well, I wasn't actually expecting that to work. Almost like you knew. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, Membun's useless. Useful at the moment. But if I get the chance to save him, I'm still going to let him go. Fucking hell, we loved our atriums in the, back in the day. And Rotundus. Typical British architect, especially in rich places like these. Fucking hell. Oh, look. Murder Mill Review. Reviewed at the second Fiendish Desires Fan Festival by your correspondent, Rabid Hound. At first glance, the only real issue with Murder Mill is its unskillful compose composition. The cinematic equivalent of your sister's kids putting on a play for the family before Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> <laughs> the film sadly begins to dissolve into a vehicle for the filmmakers to not scare us. The audience, but instead show us how many other better horror films they've seen. The thing is, these aspects are not unusual in the genre and have more or less become par for the course on the festival circuits. What was unusual, however, was the oddly unsettling feeling that blanketed the 10 p.m. audience from the first frame, and I honestly cannot explain why. The overall sense of dread that evening was palpable, and unlike anything I had experienced before or am keen to experience again. The screening was mercifully cut short though, 
as two festival goers began to assault nearby audience members before turning on one another, turning what was a below average movie going experience into an absolute pandemonium. pandemonium. This reviewer could not get out of that theatre fast enough. I'm not sure if this is a trick or gimmick of some kind on the part of the filmmakers and I'm not sure how that would even happen. But I'd have to imagine anyone with the mind to do something this so devious would make a much better film than this. Ouch. I can see why Linda would forget it. That's just it, I mean. Oh. <sighs> Ah. Okay. Uh. Here. A key. For well, what? I don't know. You know what they say about keys. Gotta be a lock nearby. No one says that, Maddie. So, what does this key open? Ah, here. Hmm, something's missing. Like a statuette? That's just to tell me I've got three trinkets. So, here. Something this weird has to be important. Does it open? Diorama, is that... no. Did that girl up here have a stand on it? No, it didn't. Okay, um... So let's try downstairs. Go for the bottom floor. Hi, tree. Here. You're coming with me, buddy. There you go. Other way, man bun. News item. <clears throat> Some yeah. kind of hammer. I wonder if it's from the statue of that little dude. So... There. One hillbilly and his hammer reunited. 
Boom. Okay, time to unlock that gate. Awesome. What prize lies behind the mystery door? Do I even want to know? Yep. Maybe it's a pattern, but I can't make heads or tails of it. Or heads and heads and heads. Oh wait, I saw the smiley. Trying to see if there's anything familiar. A tree. Unless. Oh, there you go. Ha <laughs> ha. That was not so bad. Nice. Well, if you were hoping for some insight into how Augustine's mind works, I think you got your wish. Uh, Ray. I don't know what I expected, but it wasn't this. Let's take a look around. Be careful. Looks like she's a collector of some sort. This whole place is like a film set. Where does that live? Arcadian Demon. I knew that was familiar. Mesopotamia. 23rd century BCE. Statue of Arcadian Empire. Cuneiform on fragmentary clay tablet discovered nearby suggests it represents a mythological demon worshippers believe it capable of bestowing supernatural power in exchange for their devotion protection protecting them and destroying their enemies yes that did look it's like familiar. a museum for i have no fucking idea what Something unearthly, for sure. Hey, Linda. Check this out. It's the rabbit mask from earlier. No. Oh. I am, uh... Speaking from the Trade Winds Movie Theater on Texas Avenue, where we have witnessed, are witnessing some sort of protest, or, I don't know, all, all I am able to report at this point is there have been several attacks on the general public, as well as police and medical personnel. It's not overly clear, at least to us, what the uh, catalyst for, for the situation was, but I can confirm that it started in the cinema itself. As it has been reported, an employee was stomped to death during a showing of Murder Mill. Uh, from here, from here I can see considerable damage done all around us, and police are currently doing their best to control this crowd. Okay, okay, okay. Oh no, okay, now, now there is an arrest taking place, and several people are moving in, storming the officers at every side. Oh my god, oh, oh my god, okay! 
Okay, okay, that was an explosion. That was an explosion. I, I can't see. I can't, I can't see. Uh, oh my, oh, the police have now opened fire. It, it now sounds like the police line has been broken. And I can't see anything. Oh my God, oh God, oh God. Holy shit. Wow. That happened. I do like the, um... Nod to, um... House of Ashes. With the Akkadian... Akkadian, um, demon. I thought that was really smart. Is that... Dried blood. That's the helmet. Locked. What does Missy want? These mean anything to you? Yeah, actually. It's exactly like in my film, The Prophecy of Pain. You know, right after they open the tomb? Oh, yeah, totally. It, it is exactly like that. Huh. There is no tomb in The Prophecy of Pain. Oh, uh... Yeah, sorry. I, I was getting into this stuff with, with, the, with one of the Come other... Come to think I... of it, I don't think there are any tombs in any of my movies. Never been into ancient curses and all that kind of fantasy stuff. But you know that, right? Since you're such a big fan of my work? Okay, look... You haven't seen a single one of my films, have you? I am a fan of your reputation. <laughs> sure. Honestly, just when it comes to movies, I'm more of a... <sighs> kind of guy. A crowd pleaser, is it? Cliff Barra. My films examine the persistence of evil in the heart of humanity. I'm sorry they're not crowd pleasing enough for you. But now that you've shown your hand, why don't you tell me how you actually came into possession of the film? Mm. Well, if that's what you want to know, I'm afraid I am going to need something in exchange. <sighs> oh, God. Bunny boy. There's really only one thing I can offer you. Which is? My friendship. <laughs> You're joking, right? You strike me as someone who doesn't end up with a lot of people in your corner. That's your opinion? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that whatever Augustine's up to does not involve us getting the sweet end of the deal. Point? If we've got any shot at figuring out what's going on and maybe getting the upper hand, we gotta trust each other. <laughs> There's only one person I trust, and he's got two thumbs, and he's this guy. <laughs> you can trust me, Stan. I will give you my word on that. If... You tell me the truth about your film strip. I'll, uh... I'll have to get back to you on that. Ugh, God. He is on my fucking shit list. Don't care about the fucking bun now. Ooh. Okay, that is Manifestation, Chapter 28. Getting back to the settlement would have been easy a few hours ago. Huh. Ah, uh, it's just some storybook, in it? Uh, some horror, horror book. Right, let's go. This is 
No. There's no way. It can't be. Hey, Linda. Hey. You should really come see. What is this? It was just displayed here, open to this page. Talismans. Contain wells of great power. Can take many physical forms. Often manifest as keepsakes of past victims. Victims? Keepsakes of past victims, which can become protective talismans for those who bear them. What do you think it means? I don't know. But it must be important to Augustine if it was left open on this page. Maybe it's... Did he end up here? Oh, we're back in 1980 again. A perilous place. I think we should go retrieve the rest of the crew. It's like he doesn't even question anything they tell him anymore. I mean, he, he's a smart kid, but parents can be wrong. He's got to get that through his smiley little skull. Bonnie? He can't just be a little mama's boy forever. Bonnie? Huh? It's getting really cold. Maybe we should, you know, get the others head out. Oh, cold. Yeah, I got something for that. Pocket <laughs> warmer. Uh, probably shouldn't. Thanks. She doesn't drink. Probably shouldn't drink on the job. You sure? <laughs> Oops, I guess I got colder than I thought when I was following you guys all the way out here. Nah. I know my limits. I've had to stay right up against them just to get through the past couple weeks at home. It can't be all bad to spend more time with your family. <laughs> Spoken like a true person who's not spent enough time with my family. I've spent a lot of time with Jaime. <sighs> Jaime's... Dead. Oh, he can be all right. He just needs to grow up. You've got to convince him to leave Cedar Hills when he graduates. He could come to New York, anywhere. He just can't stay here. I don't know if Jaime's ever even imagined himself anywhere else. He doesn't think that far ahead. Well, even if he hasn't, you've got to. What, leave? Yeah. I mean, unless there's some secret unrequited reason why you might want to stick around none of that apply for and how's that any of your business bonnie rivera <laughs> <laughs> look if there's one single thing a small town like this has to offer it's freshly squeezed gossip why do you hate cedar hill so much you used to be like town mascot Oh, that was when I thought the world began on Main Street, circled all the way around the Earth, and ended right back on Main Street. Once I moved to New York, I realized the real world starts on Canal Street, bounces back and forth between Avenue C and West Side Highway, and ends on 14th Street. Cedar Hills ain't even in the picture. Hmm. How's it going with your band? I really want to see you play some shows. Oh, done so, broke down, kaput. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, it's all right. Bands, you know. I started a band to get girls, but I made the grave error of dating a girl in my own band. Oh? She Oops. was cool, but once she found out my trip back home was definite, she and the band pretty much moved on without me. 
You deserve better than that. Yeah. I think so, too. Maybe we should go find everybody else. Are you sure? I was just starting to warm up. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> So she was a lesbian as well. Oh, bye. Because she ended up having a Maddie. Second, my mom comes home, it's lickety splitsville for this chica. Lickety splits, scrams, wham, bams, and thank you, ma'ams. I'm still not sure I. I'm leaving Cedar Hills for good. Oh. Can't say I blame you. Back to the city? Mm, where else am I gonna go? Well, there are other cities, you know. Nah, just the one. <laughs> what are you gonna do there? Mm, same thing I always do. Make shit up, fuck shit up. Maybe make some movies. Oh, yeah? Hmm, yeah, looks fun. Can be, yeah. Where'd you get that camera, anyway? Oh, well, it's not mine. I know, it's Jaime's. I asked you. Uh, we got it from a curiosity shop in town. Uh, probably the only one then. Yeah. Mm. Hey! Guys? Hello? Mm. Hey, where'd everybody go? Oh no. Hi. Hi, man. Hi, man. Manito. No, 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 no. He's not. He's not. Linda, he's not. He's not breathing. No, 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 no. No. Oh, how could this fucking happen? How could this fucking happen? I don't, I don't know. This doesn't make any sense. My baby brother. Bonnie, I don't know if it's safe for us to be here. We don't know what happened. Uh, what about the camera? Maybe, maybe they were filming when, uh, maybe, yeah, maybe. We should find Chris and Robert. I uh, no, I don't want to leave Jaime. Whoever did this might still be here. We can't stay, okay? We gotta go. Um... Okay, now, how do we get out? Now... Oh, this way. So I've got to find out... Wait, look for the red... Like, plane. Oh, 
through here. And he's still not happy with me. <clears throat> I just go around in a fucking circle. Just needs a bit of power. Alright, now this game's really ramping up. There, switch the Jenny on. Ace gone. There. That'll do. Let's go. So he's going to keep popping up periodically now. So we've got to expect for that. Oh, nice. All right, let's go. Lower the lift. It's coming! Shit! There he is. He's trying to knock me away. There it is, over there. So every time he appears, he's now gonna knock the... He's getting even closer now. Come on. There you go. Oh, up this side, quick. Bonnie. Yes, we do. We do need to get back to Bonnie.
This you escape from Frank Stone's mm. So I assume we'll go this way. Mystery Manor, Chapter 8. Miss Castle. Been a long time. What the hell are you doing here? It's been a long time, hasn't it? Twenty years at least. I don't keep track of years anymore. Seems to be working out for you. Pretty spry for an old man. I'm sorry, but we have to spare the pleasantries. There's almost no time at all. We need to talk. Uh, excuse me, just who are you exactly? Yeah, why'd you come and swing and if you just want to talk? You keep your lying mouth shut and mind your own business. Sam, do I have to mind my own business too, or are you just talking to Stan's lying mouth? Maddie, this is mm. Sam Green, Sheriff of Cedar Hills. Don't think you got much jurisdiction here, Pops. Former Sheriff. Why are you here? You know damn well why I'm here. I must have forgotten. Oh, <laughs> well, isn't that nice for you? Because I just can't seem to stop cleaning up after your little problem child. Wait, are you talking about the film? Hmm? Is he talking about the film? Oh, it was a bad move coming here, Linda. That cursed thing should have stayed forgotten. Oh, well, it's going to spell the end of this world. Maybe even every other. Skeptical concern. You're not making a lot of sense. Concerned. Okay, Sam. You're not making a lot of sense. Are you sure you're okay? You're too old to be running around like a secret agent. I'm in the best shape of my life. And everything I'm telling you is true. All of this is because of what happened back in Cedar Hills. What's happening then, right now. Don't you understand what I'm saying? I... No. I'm sorry. Ugh. Just... Tell me you still have your piece of the film. Yeah, I still have it. And them? We've all got our pieces. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> and at least I'm not too late. <laughs> but... Augustine has made us all an offer. And you turned her down. Right? We haven't committed to anything yet. Just no one we knows. haven't committed to anything yet. Okay. Okay. <laughs> then we can work with this. Now, if we play our cards right, we might still have a chance to fix it. Linda, what is this guy talking about? The film strip you're carrying pieces of all around with you. It's part of a movie Linda made with her friends. With my son! But it's not just a film. It's, it's a prison. Something far older. Something more powerful than anything humanity's ever conceived. It's, it's pure malignant corruption, and its hunger is unbounding. No! Okay, Sam. <laughs> Laying it on a bit thick, aren't you? That's Punch him again. From you, Mr. Stanford. Hold on. You guys know each other? Uh, unfortunately, I have been on the receiving end of the former sheriff's outlandish claims and dramatic interjections for quite some time now. <laughs> Dude is a walking mess. Uh, I got a hand or two. You are looking better than the last time I saw you, yeah? Who's your guy? Did this charlatan tell you how he manipulated my son and stole his piece of the film when Robert was in a very vulnerable place in his life? I do my business on the level. I'm not out there sneaking around in the dark like some grubby little crook. <sighs> Fuck this. I'm done with your shit, man. 
Uh, should we go after him? Why don't you go keep an eye on Stan? I'll stay here. All that stuff he was saying, is he for real? I don't know. But I don't think anybody should be wandering off alone right now. Oh, we're Maddie again. Huh? Was this locked before? Hey! Hey, hold up a sec! Stan! Hmm. Where'd he go? Yeah. Why is this here? Oops. Who just stayed with the other two and left them to it? Dan! Hmm. Oh, oh God. Wow, wow. The occult. Just what I need. got here. Trapped in there. They always knew every super rich asshole had a room like this in their house. Hmm. So now we've got to do that again. Okay, we're cooking now. Two more of those ring thingies to go. Go, 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 go. So... I'll... Just do that. I really need to shut this thing down. Boom. Just hang, hang in there. I I'm, I'm gonna get you out. Oh. Is this... Chris. Whatever happened to a good old fashioned on off switch? Okay, one more to go. Go meet. That was quick and easy. How are you doing in there? Oh, dumb 
Congratulations, Maddie. <laughs> Done it. Meanwhile in Cedar Hills. Cedar Hells? Are you alright? Oh. Hmm? What's wrong, oh, young man? Storekeeper. Uh, nothing. I... Uh... Let me help you. Uh, I'm fine. It's nothing. But you look as if something's... I'm just looking for my dad. Uh, the sheriff? The sheriff? Yeah. Have you seen him? Oh, well, uh, yes. Uh, where? Uh, here and there, now and then. He does have a way of showing up in the strangest of places. Wait, how long ago was he here? Just, just now, or what? It was more than a minute, less than a lifetime. <laughs> sure. Okay, thanks. The pleasure was all mine. I'll be sure to tell him you're looking for him. Will she? Alright, uh, continue in with the mystery manor. Pretty sure they came down this way. I uh, wouldn't be sure of anything in this place. How did she get you here, Linda? What did she offer you? Sorry, you still owe me some answers. Hang on. Let's see what's, uh... Sorry, Sheriff. I think you still owe me some answers. <laughs> and how's that? You're acting like a lunatic. Sneaking around? Attacking people? That's not the Sam Green I know. People change. Over time. The only time I ever saw you even close to this intense was when you caught Chris and Jaime and me at the mill. Ah, uh, yeah. I uh, thought I was being too hard on you at the time. But knowing what I know now, I'm glad I broke your camera. But you never broke our camera. Well, of course I... You're not okay, are you? I'm getting old. Memory's not what it used to be. Hmm. Ninja dropped it. What did you mean when you said all of this is because of Cedar Hills? I said it's because of what happened in Cedar Hills. And what's still happening right now. What's happening right now? What happened back then? Kids making Super 8 movies? In mm -hmm. the mill? The mill's been gone for years. I told you, I don't count years anymore. 
Jesus, come on, Sam. You haven't been straight with me since the second you got here. I hate... <gasps> what is it? Uh, nothing. Nothing. I... Find him all in. Gotta find him before his... Skies are... They're folding in again and it's... Uh... Oh, it's your diary. Diary. Take it easy. <laughs> Sam, you don't seem okay. We gotta find Augustine. Now. I think you should take a minute. I'll be fine. Now, are you gonna help me find Augustine, or are you just gonna get in my way? Hmm. Fuck it. Let's go. I think I knew something was wrong before I got here. Yes, I just wanted to see it for myself. I'll help you, Sam. Whatever Augustine's up to, I don't think it's good. All right. Building's moving. Sam? Sam. Sam. Sam? Hello? All right. What the fuck? Film reels. This is certainly something. T shirts. Alternate version. Theater Carnage blamed on sick flick. A, a screening of the film Murder Mill. Wait, this screening never happened. What is this? Uh huh? The movie. A recent outbreak of mass violence and pandemonium in movie theaters across the country has been blamed on the low budget horror picture with its roots right here in Cedar Hills. The latest copycat incident in Sacramento occurred last night with a screening of the film Murder Mill triggering a mass brawl that left 13 injured and three critically. Murder Mill was shot at the defunct Cedar Mill Steel Mill and has been afforded a national release in an effort. Detractors claim to cash in on the notoriety of the site where serial killer Frank Stone committed his crimes more than 20 years ago. Since the release, however, there have been repeated episodes of violence at screenings, with Sacramento just the latest in an increasingly long line. Hmm. So, wait. Murder Mill is a course of all this in like a multi dimensional world. Let's have a look here. Bonnie didn't act in this scene. It was Chris. Uh, 
Th this isn't right. <sighs> okay, that is not what we shot. Augustine has another version of the scene that... Oh. They're all murder mills. Something's wrong. Like, very, very wrong. I think you're starting to see what we're up against. And unfortunately, I'm starting to think we might be too late. Come on. Stop. I'm not taking one more step until you tell me exactly what the fuck is going on here. And don't even think about saying one word short of the absolute truth, you hear me? The truth can be a slippery subject. Sam! Look, I'm sorry, Linda. But... <laughs> I just don't think I'm able to give you what you want. I take no pleasure in any of this. There's no reward for me when I've done what I've got to do. There's no gratitude, no gold watch. It's just sort of a higher calling. <laughs> God, you're so full of it. I'm not a kid anymore. And you're not the sheriff. You don't get to play high and mighty with me. Linda. No. You won't be straight with me, fine. But I'm not an idiot. I know how misdirection works. I can see what you're trying to hide. Did you think I wouldn't notice the second you walked in here? You should be at least 80 years old, but you're barely older than me. How does that make any sense? So what are you implying? I'm saying you might be Sam Green. But you're not the Sam Green I knew in Cedar Hills. You're someone else, aren't you? Oh, a fanatic. For every path taken, there exists another, taken by a shadow self, another reality, another world. Worlds so close, they bleed together. Do you see? The timelines I chose were special. The bleed strong. The entity straining against the edges of our world. I didn't need Frank Stone's mortal vessel, after all. I only needed the most Perfect versions of his essence, trapped on celluloid, projected at 24 frames a second. Frank Stone will be reborn. <laughs> Descent of the Damned. Back in 1980. <laughs> okay, um... Let's... 
Tell me for her to get the fuck out of here. Where is everyone? Clouded up. <clears throat> if I fix these boilers, that should shut off the leak. Hmm. Gotta be around here someplace. Okay, I do believe I've escaped him for now. Um, So I've got to find the parts for it. Those steam jets are gonna burn my face off. But that's my only way out. Here we gotta find the key. So I just need to get one more now. That do not sound good. Surely there's a way to the other side. Ah. I always need one of these. There we go. All right, that's the key to the locker. All right, let's get out of here.
my darling Franklin Norman. Whoever's locker this was had some serious issues. It upsets me when you don't write back. If you aren't sick, you needn't be withdrawn with me. Tell me everything, my dear. Warm. Okay. Huh. Was Frank was psychologically vulnerable. Well, where the right? Where's the part? I did all that. For nothing. Fuck is it? I'll be in the shower room, surely. Oh, you're coming with me, buddy. Right, let's get the fuck out. I must admit, I've been really calm through all this. Can't waste time. Not with that monster out there. Go. This is your color. God, if I ever get out of this maze, I'm going to take Bonnie's advice and leave Cedar Hills, see New York, fall in love, fall out of love, just live a little. Hmm. <laughs> Spaces. Can barely breathe.
Huh. Oh. Back where I started? Okay, then. Oh. So fucked. What the hell? The dark are dark. These the brilliant mind, the broken psyche. Yeah, I think it's time we got the fuck out. Time to bug the fuck out. And now we're back in the present. The House of Madness. I'd be confused in this. Your mom? But that's... How is that possible? You're talking about Bonnie Rivera, right? Yes, yeah, she was... She was just here, but we, we, we were... Ugh. My mom died a few weeks ago. No. No, 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 no. We were in the mill. We were just shooting. We just finished the movie. What the hell? Okay, nobody's making you do anything. But, uh, right now it's not so safe here either. We should go. I don't think that's a good idea. Whoever came after me is still out there. Uh, we gotta go find Linda. Linda? Do you know Linda? Linda Castle? Ah, oh, I get it now. So you're a diehard, huh? You follow her here? Follow her? No, we came here together. Sure, you did. Where is she? I need to see her. Look, I don't usually like to get involved in any weirdo stalkery kind of shit, but I could be persuaded to make introduction. The price is right. Eh, he was annoying me.
Bye bye, Stan. Annoying little prick. <clears throat> All paths must cross. So, yeah. Mm. Bonnie. Oh, Bunny. Whoa. Oh, hey, hey, it's, it's okay. It's okay. We're all gonna die here. There's no way to escape. I'm so sorry. Oh, God. Bonnie, I'm so sorry. He's... He's mi hermanito, and he's gone. Are, are you... I'm okay. Yeah, I'm okay. How are you so calm right now? I'm not. But I know that the only way we're gonna get through this is if we can just keep it together. Just for a little while. What is that thing out there? No idea. But I know it's bad news. And we gotta get as far away from it as possible. Great idea. So how the fuck do we do that? There's the storm drain. That could get us out. If we're lucky... We might be able to find a way in from this chamber. It's coming. Hmm. Hmm. Closing the news. Does this mean this? That was a quick chapter. I don't see anything. So weird. Are you okay? I, I, I'm a little less uh, swimmy, but that guy just died right in front of us. Yeah. Was he your friend? No. I didn't know him very well, and he was kind of a pain in the butt, but he seemed okay. He didn't deserve that. No one deserves that. I may. What? If you're feeling a little better, maybe you can tell me about where you came from. What you can remember. Maybe it can help. Wait, you said Linda was here? Linda Castle? Yeah, she is. We've got to find her. Please, she's my friend. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Let's go look for Linda. Right. So, uh, is Linda looking for me? I don't think she knows you're here. At least, she didn't mention it. Oh, but I, I, I was just with her. You were? I... I thought I was. I, I don't know. It, it's all kind of broken up in my head. Hey, don't worry about it right now. Let's just keep moving. Hmm. Huh. Let's have a look in. Oh, it's locked. Doors, 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 doors. Ah, we came this way earlier. So I'm pretty sure I came from up that way. So down this way, maybe? This was locked earlier. Oh, wow, now it's unlocked. An actual normal room. I'll be damned. Wait. Keepsakes of past victims, which can become protective talismans for those who bear them. Wait, wait, I, I know this. Th this was... No, no, I can't. Can't what? Huh? This belonged to one of Frank Stone's victims. Frank Stone? The killer. From the mill? But what is it doing here? I've seen it too. There was a book here that explained how it would offer some sort of protection or something. 
I didn't even think it was real, but... So, should, like, one of us wear it? For protection? Hmm. Yes. Maybe I should wear it for a little while. Then, you know, if I die, we'll know it's bullshit. Hmm. Never know, might find another talisman for her. Um. Hmm. Looks boring. Still, can't judge a book by its cover. Hmm. The changing nature of language often results in a lack of modern consensus on the etymology of certain place names. Even those that seem potentially obvious may be hiding a myriad of meanings. For example, there is an East Anglian town named, named Woodbridge. True fact, true fact, I actually live around the East Angles, that historians doubt ever had a literal wooden bridge. <clears throat> Even if it had, such a thing is unlikely to have been considered a noteworthy innovation given the town's layout and the technology of its oldest recorded settlements. <clears throat> okay. Hello. Now that's not boring. Hmm. Mm hmm. Blood may be that which binds us to this world, for upon the spilling of his life's blood shall a man find himself moving into the next. Why then? If a soul may naturally move from one reality into a higher one by the shredding of his blood, should we be surprised to learn such shredding, shedding may draw the gaze of that higher reality? We might therefore conclude it is simply the act of taking life, not any passage of our soul that brings these worlds together. In so doing, we might form one own, our own gates between this world and the other, and in doing so, perchance move through them while we yet live. Oh, what wisdom we might glean from the world of the ancients. What knowledge might be but a single sacrifice away. How to return is another matter. If the death of our own. That was older English. I really do not like speaking that. Ah, grab the key. Ah, here. Yeah. He looks like he's about to throw those knives. Hidden passage. Whoa, secret passage. Yeah, sure. A secret passage. Why not? What do I go back up that way for? That's it.
This is Dr. Augustine Lieber conducting court mandated psychological session five with patient Frank Stone, March 28th, 1961. Wait, uh -huh. this is Augustine. Since our last but 1961? An attack. That's an over orderly. 60 years ago. Perhaps we could salvage this. Tell me, do you ever feel as though you have a higher calling? This instinct of yours to inflict pain on others to punish them i don't believe it is wholly errant these sessions are all about taking responsibility frank not just for your past but for your future too yes you have a future and it could be boundless you simply have to trust me. Ah. Yeah. I ain't even bothering to collect them now. I'm just looking to finish the game. Oh. He says, and then he gets the sacrificial knife. <laughs> oh, and I top it off. Twins are creepy. That's just a fact. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay, that startled me a little. Ah, come on, there we go. to understand why should I I don't even know you Linda! where's Stan he's dead what ah that fucking moron how can you say that he was a person and he's dead yes he's a moron we should tell you something about how serious this situation really is for all of us Stan tried to warn us about you and now he's dead for all I know, you're responsible. Believe me, I didn't like that man, but... I'm not inclined to believe a word you say. You are not Sam Green. You are not from Cedar Hills. I will admit, time, distance, and a great deal more than you could know are between us. But whoever I am to you, you can trust me. You have to. Give me one good reason. You've seen Augustine's archive. She's not just collecting every piece of the film you made. She's collecting every piece of that film that could have ever potentially existed. What is that even supposed to mean? Yeah, sounds right. I don't know if I would have said this an hour ago, but after what I just experienced, I think Sam might be right. Augustine's lying to us. Whatever she's up to here, it's way, way over our heads. You should have seen this chamber and the girl. I don't trust Augustine, but I trust this man even less. At least whoever Augustine is, she's not pretending to be someone from your past. Linda? Linda! What? What happened? We were in the mill and... What? You're so old! <laughs> oh boy. <clears throat> this, uh, this kind of thing, it, it can happen. Sometimes. Hmm?
Is this the movie you made? Yeah, it is. Technically, I'm the director. <laughs> you got your piece of the film strip? Yeah. All right, let me see it. What's so important about these film strips? Maddie? I need to see the actual film. What? Where is it? No, 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 no. It was right here. It, it was right in here. What happened to Stan's piece? Did, did any of you see it? What happened to it? It must still be in his pocket, on his body. Therefore, they've got. I don't Augustine's know. got the I whole just lot. Don't know. Augustine's pulling a lot of strings here. She's been a million miles ahead of us. Hey, you get what you wanted? You done with this fucking game? Why is she making us watch the film? Murder mill. Thirteenth chapter. That's an alternate one. Mom? No. No, that's not what happened. That never happened. Never. We were in the old machine shop. That's where Chris and Jaime and I found a way into Frank's hideout and... That was from... I know. Stay right here until I come back. Do you understand? But, Dad... Oh, I'm Sam again. Right. 
One of them's over here. Listen to me, I can't protect you. And I just can't trust that you're gonna listen to me. I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry. Let's just go this way. <clears throat> Oh, where's Linda? There's something about this camera. Maybe it's the key to all of this. This isn't right. It feels like he's here. I heard her. Zap him! Zap the fucker! Holy hell. This is a weird kind of weapon, I'll give it that. Spirit, the Phantom of Vengeance. Huh. Still gotta find Linda. Let's just keep running. Linda. Oh, 
Oh, ahead of us. Come on. Can't see her there. Um, this way. Come on. No. Not that way. Um, ba 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 ba. No. Oh shit, he's close. That was close. Ah, right, here she is. Again. Come on. Don't be a fool. Is that the end of it? Did we stop it? Is it... is it... is it over? No. There's still one thing left we gotta do. Massacre at the ground. Oh, okay. Hopefully this is it now. I've been going for quite a few hours here.
You got your damn movie. What more do you want? Oh, he's you, come. You lied to me. I did no such thing. Like hell you didn't. You promised me. It is no fault of mine if you misinterpreted what I promised you. My mom just died. You knew I was grieving, and you took advantage of me. A traveler is only as strong as its vessel. You got a hell of a lot to answer for, and a lot of hell to pay! <gasps> He's coming through. <laughs> Right, we managed to get her off. Now he's back in physical form. What is that? That is Frank Stone. We gotta go. We gotta run. Now! I should not put that necklace on her. Fuck, dude. Poor Maddie. Huh? Well, those two have made it out. Holy shit. Seriously? Shit! That's how we got down here. There's got to be another way out. No, not that way. This way. Oh, open that, grab that, there you go, the hammer. There we go.
another Jenny. Kaboom! What's this? Ishi day, okay. Now, if this card is lost, stolen, or misplaced, report it immediately to the security office. See the steel reserves. The right to revoke security access at any time in the case or emergency or safety concerns. Yeah. Ah. Distribute a cap. Yeah. Got it. Right. Here we go. Ash. Try that again. Almost. Okay, now the second part. Oh, just. I think I've just gone the wrong way. I missed it twice. Fuck, Linda's dead. What's she doing back here? The hell? See what happens.
He switched it back on. Oh. He's getting in. Hold still, let me clean you off. We'll get it on this one. If we don't, you can just make it up to me in my trailer after the shoot. Yeah. Oh, it's like spearmint cough syrup. <laughs> yeah, all my gagging was kind of real. Mm, worth it, though. You guys want me to leave? All right, all right. On your feet, people. Everybody back to one. We're going again. We are going again. Okay, sound speeds. Um, uh, camera speeds. All right, mm -hmm. everybody settle. And hold. And hold. And action. Uh. Uh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Damn. Could this be Frank where Stone I is finally the man he was meant to be? My champion. A killer worthy of the entity. The bleed between worlds is open, split apart by sacrifice and violence. All will be swallowed by the entity's power. And what of me? The one who served up this world for it to devour. I'll oblige as its faithful servant, existing only to drink in its knowledge, share in its glory. I am Augustine Lieber, and I have brought the entity to your world. Or did you? of toil and torment all for this beautiful moment of sublime perfection almost unbearably so I bear to you the offerings. I humbly await my reward for loyal service, unending. Your loyalty means shit.
So I'm down to two. Consumed by a living realm beyond space, beyond time. Thanks to me. Oh. I am controlling him in first person. Whether killing or surviving, the Entity will play with our souls for all eternity. An endless hunt of fear and hope, pain and sacrifice, from which even death is no escape. And now, let the trial begin. <laughs> Oh, that was the casting of Frank Stone. It was interesting. Um, I think I only got startled twice. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't say this is good as the uh, dark pictures or the quarry quarry well no no point in trying to compare it to until dawn to be all right honest I don't think there was really much in a way of I mean I saved two of them I saved Chris and I saved Sam but I would have thought you know I was would have been able to with Chris going back in time to where everything all started for their timeline everything would have reverted like she was able to stop the other Chris from carrying on with the movie. And they all disappear and end up with their own different kind of lives. And Frank may not have been awoken by them. That's what I thought anyways. But it's... It was weird, there was a lot to take in. It was really smart. In that sense. But in, in terms of like, scare, in terms of horror, it just went there for me. Either that I'm just too fucking desensitized to it all. <laughs> But I mean, I enjoyed it, you know, it's... Uh, oh, uh, it's ten past one here in the morning. I've got to be up in under six hours time. <laughs> so anyways, I'm going to head off to bed. It was a, it was an interesting adventure. I'm looking forward to the next um, Dark Pictures anthology, which starts later in the year. I think in the next couple of months. So looking forward to that. 
I shall probably be streaming that with Snake. And, um, yeah. That's it, really. I really need to. Oh, there we go. Finally, I get to continue. Oh, it's Sam. Augustine again? <gasps> the fuck? <laughs> it's a prank plushie. That's cool. I like that. <laughs> Cutting room floor unlocked. Well, that'll do, everyone. I'm off to bed. After that little finisher there. Anyways, thanks for watching. Everyone who's started following the channel, thank you very much. It's very appreciated. You know, every little bit helps. Also, <clears throat> if you caught this on Twitch, I'll also be uploading this onto my youtube channel which is also linked on my channel and if you're catching this on um youtube later on you made it this far leave us a like and also if you want to see a lot more from me consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you know as of when i'm uploading anyways i've been aspo this has been the casting of frank stone thanks for joining us hope to catch you in the next one